Yo! Yeah! Should we open with that? It is yeah, a pretty yeah, good. Yeah. We were talking about Mark and his antics yeah. farting on our guests. With uh-huh. Nate Bargatze here. Let's show. So here's, here's. And by the way, Nate's a great comic. Watch his new special on Amazon. Killer. We have to plug if we're going to show. Hello World. If we're great. Show Mark farting on him. Watch it today. Okay. By the way, directed by Homeless Pimp, which is very impressive. Mike, yes. Mike Lavin. We should give his real name as well. Oh, yeah. Homeless yeah. Pimp. Yeah. Celebrity the Theater. The more you get to talk about, the more, you know, it's. It, it, it's more conversational, it's more whatever it is. Right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the eyes. The head shake. Oh, Not the even a head. Nothing happy there. No, he looked like my dad when I said I was going to be a comic. <laughs> Brutal. Man. Uh, I've known the guy 10 years, 15 years. I know, years. but he was in the middle of a story. Uh, I, think that adds, I think it adds to the frustration when he's trying to have a poignant moment and you fart on him. I guess so. <laughs> well, you had left. I felt like it was lacking a little. I had to I kick know. it up. If I was here, I think I would have saved it because I yes. usually laugh. I mean, I'm laughing just at the playback. I need you there. I know. I would have loved it. I have a dream. Ah, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> That all farts Jeez. are created equal. I mean, uh, pretty great. Dude, I was in Vegas all weekend. I went I went off. Oh, well, you got to go off. It's Vegas. Oh, I, I went hard. I mean, I don't know if you have that picture of me, Salacuse. It's uh, on my Instagram. I was going to do the, yeah. No, oh we, yeah, we hit it hard. You, you, you playing? Uh, looked like blackjack with a cigarette and an old sea cap. I can even show you. Yeah. Oh my god. Should I send you the the video? I guess it doesn't matter. My room was. <laughs> dude, that guy ruled. He was seventy eight. Wow. And he was putting the drinks back, and we hit it off. He was enjoying my antics. I was pissed drunk. It's funny when your face is all over the casino, and you're still the worst behaved person. There. <laughs> There's right. just literally posters of me all over. And uh, because I was playing the Mirage and then I'm just loaded at the table, piss drunk, just, you know, zapping cigarettes. And after every blackjack hand I lose, I start calling the dealer a Nazi sympathizer. (laughs) And this old guy's like losing it laughing. So, Ah. you know, all I need is a little laugh. So I'm taking it further. I'm like, Hitler. Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. That's great. Hit, hit, Hitler again. (laughs) And they're getting furious at me. I could see, I could see the security. Like, do we do something? Yeah. But uh, no, he was great. Oh, wow. What, you what is this? Oh. That was a casino. Which, Take it back. This is you at the table. Which hand do you jerk off with? <laughs> <laughs> Not both of them. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Butte. Motherfucker. <laughs> Take this shit. Pound it up your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, we, yeah, I should say I was tipping, though, which uh, helps. I was uh-huh. throwing to Hitler, but I was, I was tipping. <laughs> That's all that matters. No one else was throwing her money. Someone, I posted that I did that, and someone wrote like, "Well, yeah, that's, that's you lost because you know you uh, that's karma." And I was like, "Well, I didn't lose." Uh-huh. Although this is classic comic shit. I was so shit faced. I was down a decent amount of money for a minute, and then I noticed people stopped paying attention to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I was like, "Hey guys, I'm putting all my money uh-huh. on his hand." And everyone was like, "Oh my god, he's putting his money on." I was like, "Man, I'm a whore." <laughs> yeah. But I won that hand. Thank God. That was like three hundred on a hand. Whoa! One wow. hundred. Four hundred. Hey, yeah. all right. Yeah, so I won. I won the money back. That's... I was doing like twenty five a hand, but then I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go all in if I'm still gonna be the center of attention. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, what you, it's worth. You always see the movies are at craps tables, the girls blowing on the dice. You know, you're high five and everybody, but it's never that. It's always four in the morning with the old white haired guy. Oh, dude, he was awesome. And then at the end of the night, he was like, "Don't smoke." You know, I. Uh, I've smoked my whole life. I was like a Planet Fitness, like super Mr. Universe type guy. And, uh, you know, it, it cut 33% of my oxygen. I was like, this is like a movie. Whoa. He was like, I made every wrong mistake. I was like, dad. <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of dad, dad, we got <laughs> in the house this week. Hey, <laughs> we got uh, hey, Salacuses. Go. His son, he got divorced. Salacuses has <laughs> got the baby. <laughs> Kramer versus Kramer in the oh, flesh. Oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah, I I, I was joking with Salakus. I go, hey, we're, we'll see you today. And he goes, ah, you said tomorrow. And I was like, oh, he's like, I got the I was like, well, bring him. I didn't think you would. <laughs> Pick him up. Yeah, you, you called my bluff. And this yeah. poor kid's out of school. <laughs> he's supposed we're, to be we're good influences drinking in the afternoon. Yeah, there you we go. Sh- we should introduce one of our guest bartenders here, Shane. Hey, Shane. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. 
What's shaking, Fatty? Nothing much. I'm uh, from Colorado. Just moved to New York about five months ago. Whoa! So, we're in Colorado. Oh, Colorado Springs. Hey, oh, I've been great there. Town. Yeah. Big Navy base, right? Naval uh, bases? Fort Carson. So it's Army. Mm. Uh-huh. Army. All right. Largest base in territory-wise in the whole country. Am I nuts or is Black Klansman set yeah. in Fort Collins? It, it takes place in Springs, yeah. Springs, mm-hmm. sorry. Why did I say Fort yeah, Collins? Yeah, we got focus on the family. People hate abortions out there. Uh, Do they? Yeah. It's well, ridiculous. we'll still clear. I've had a, <laughs> I've paid for a few. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good Colorado to have you there. Springs. Thank you. Thank you. Right. How about a cocktail? Yeah, yeah. I'm Jones. Start with old fashions? Oh, we, I thought we were doing Manhattans, but I could do an old fashioned. Sure. Oh, I might have well, fucked that up. Well, whatever you guys prefer, I can make it. What are you thinking? Let's do a Manhattan. Let's do a Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. We got vermouth back here? We yeah. must. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> all right. We got vermouth. I like on the flies, altering I the I like plan. it, Shane. A- out of the gate. Any? Do you have any peeves? Anything bother you in general? Fucking everything a guest orders really bothers me. Oh, jeez. I hate when people come and they're like, what do you like? I'm like, fuck off. What do you like? Yeah. I, I get nuts. that. That bugs me. You know what happened to me last night? I'm in Mamoons. Uh, you know, right next to the cellar because it's a Monday. The band's playing. It's two packs. I'm like, I'll eat next door. Mm-hmm. I'm in Moons alone. This guy sees me. He comes in. He goes, Sam, what bar do I go to? Uh, and I was like, excuse me? I don't fucking know you. I don't know you? what kind of bar you like. You I feel like that's you from the past. <laughs> what bar should I go to so I don't end up like this? Uh, yeah, I don't know. What'd you say? Off the wagon? I was like, I don't know what kind of bar you like. He's like, anything. I think I said peculiar pub. So I'm like, that's a cool uh, yeah. village pub. You get 600 beer choices. Mm. Uh, yeah, That's not a bad choice. But he cornered me in a way that was, I was kind of like, all right, is this guy going to, he also had like the faux hawk and was kind of intense. I was like, is this guy going to swing on me? <laughs> yeah. Because that's the village now. Is dude, yeah, I'm with yeah. Ryan Hamilton. We're walking around and dudes are just in our face at the point oh, that it's, it's like. Oh, it's crazy. I got into it with a guy. I think I told you about that. Yeah. And I'm not a tough guy, but this guy goes, uh, he, it was me and a friend who had a camera, like a nice camera like that. And he goes, where are you going with that camera, bitch? And I was like, I just had a bad day. And I was like, fuck off. And he goes, what'd you say? <laughs> and he goes, I've been to jail. I was like, that's not a good thing. So now we're going back and forth. And I see Sean Patton walk up. And I'm like, all right, I got some backup. So I just go in on the guy. And we're like face to face. And then the, the seller bouncers walk over. And I'm like, woo. Oh, baby, I am in the clear. Patton pulls out a knife. And I was like, Damn. I got to go on. <laughs> yeah, hey, right. there we but go. That, we talked about this. The knife's not, you don't want to be the dude who stabs. True. Yeah. But, you know, what if the guy's stabbing him? You don't want to be in a knife fight. You just yeah. want to run yeah, away. Yeah, that's my point. I, yeah. I think mace is the move because you can you can get him down and get away. Exactly. Ah. But I had my hand on the mace last night. The guy was ready. Really? He comes in the fucking sandwich shop and starts, me and Hamilton are in Wolf Nights. I ate, I had two dinners. And uh, I was hungry. And uh, <laughs> You John Panette? <laughs> two dinners. <laughs> I uh, we're in there and he's fucking with the woman in there. So we kind of we're kind of like, hey, stand down. I said, stand down. That's pretty good. <laughs> he was drunk, you know. But like the guy's it. pissed drunk. I'm like, I'm like, stand down. And he was just like, oh. And he's like, oh my god, fuck. So now I'm his attention. Yeah. And I was like, are you okay? I was trying to be like heroic. And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. She's like used to it. She works <laughs> in the village. But uh, but I had my hand on the mace, and Hamilton was like, thank God you had the mace just in case, you know. Ooh. So where was he it on you now? It? No, it's in my jacket. Whoa. Oh, I'm pumped. Thank you, sir. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that looks nice. We, we need a third for when our, our guest judge gets here. Guest judge? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a guest judge this week. Simon's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> he saw our video last week where we trashed his cheers. Botox. There we go. And thank you, Shane. Cheers, cheers. My pleasure. This ch- you want one? You want a cocktail, kid? Let's start him slow. Give him a daiquiri. There you go. Maybe a... That is a, that might be the best Manhattan we've had from any from any guest Woo! judge. I have to say, I don't normally like Manhattans up. I like a I like a I like a big round cube in them. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, this might be the this might be the best Manhattan we've had yet. It's good because it's subtle but flavorful at the same time. That is damn salad You want to get in here? Yeah, Shane. First, what's your favorite Patrice O'Neill bit? Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! I like the one where he says. Um, the only reason we have sex is to save shit up to jerk off to later. Wow. Man, well done, sir. That's good. Colorado. Boy, cracks me up. Is he one of your favorites? Who are your favorites? I'm a huge Bill Burr fan. So That's a good like one. Extension. I like Patrice. Um, sure. I love his bits on, like, um, what's that talk show? Um, Opie and Anthony, that's oh yeah, the that's classic. Boy, this pro lifer's all right. <laughs> no, I'm just this kidding. is insane. Very good. What's your bar experience? Um, so I ran a, co- a few cocktail bars back in the springs. Um, 
I've been in the industry my whole life, so, uh, you know, serving tables, all that shit. And then when I turned 21, I was like, oh, this is the coolest job in the restaurant. So I kind of learned how to bartend, bought some cocktail books, and uh, pretty much taught myself. Ran a Japanese speakeasy, so a lot of Ooh. Japanese whiskey experience. Um, then from there, we opened a cocktail bar called The Archives. Um, hmm. Still there today, but I left it behind to come out to the big city. So, hey. Uh, yeah. Well, how, how do you explain those, the story? those guns? Yeah. Yeah, you're fucking big. Look at that guy. I've, tr- I've gotten a little chubby since I came out here. The food's too good, man. It's yeah, ridiculous. it's pretty good. Ridiculous. This guy's got arms. Dude. I know. Look at that. He could throw out some some guests if we yep. need to. Certainly have had to. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, guest hey, judge hey, alert. That was quick. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, God. Look at you. Let's go. I brought my, I brought my, I brought my judge hat. <laughs> All right. Well, he's number one. This is Shane at the bar. What's up, Ari? How are you? What's going on? Are you going to abandon us for Southeast Asia? Um, oh, maybe. that's what the beer Jew did that's for right. context. The nerve. Well, Howdy, cowboy. How are you guys? I think I'm excited for you to try this Manhattan. This is one of the best Manhattans I've ever had. Really? I want to build it up too class. much. He's pretty good, this, this guy. This guy's got the skills. I know you guys drink on this podcast. And the buys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got... We'll get you Sweatshirts now? We'll get you merch. Oh, yeah. That's a nice uh, uh, like salmon. Mauve. Yeah. Move, okay. Mauve. Okay. Mauve. Harold and Mauve. Harold and Mauve. Yeah. <laughs> good, good movie. And look, somebody wrote. You're making Manhattans? Somebody brought that in. What is that? Somebody oh gave us our own hot sauce. Yeah. This is amazing. What is it, your I own? Know. It was oh, in that cool. uh, envelope there. And Salaki's brought his son. Salaki has a son? <laughs> yeah. The he's one you abandoned years ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's back now. Cheers, boys. All right. Cheers. Hey, hey. Yeah. These are the worst glasses to cheers in or just serve. Yeah, I, I prefer Manhattan's and those glasses. Yeah, they're second only to the, what's the straight out ones? I don't That's think whiskey. Martini, martini glass. Martini, yeah. fuck those. I don't, I, don't think so whiskey, I don't think whiskey belongs in a martini glass. It's too It's too manly a drink. A martini, I understand. Mm. I hear what you're saying. You know? It should be like, it should be in a cup type of thing. Yes. Yeah, or like on the old range. They wouldn't have had these on the range. Yeah. Where whiskey was. <laughs> John Wayne point. ain't drinking out of one of these. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. Nor is He's going to shoot you in the gut. Yeah. yeah. He's busy dying of butt cancer. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to drink. What do you think, Ari? I think it's good. It's yeah. got a smooth taste to it. I assume this is an Amarino cherry. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Even I knew that. <laughs> what is it? So they're actually, they're called mar- maraschinos, but it's a mm. Marasca cherry from Italy. Sebastian Maraschino. You really made a fool out of me, this new bartender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really threw it right. You in my made face. a fool out of yourself, Ari. <laughs> I <just> played myself. <laughs> so what's shaking? How are you doing? Doing good. Doing the Beacon Theater, Whoa! March twenty fourth. Joining the club. That's why you wanted to come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to leave for six weeks. I got a long tour. I'm not going to be back to promote it. You did it. Tim Dillon did it. Nikki Glazer just did it. It's become a comedy club. I know. It's the creek. It's Yeah. Yeah. It's the new creek. <laughs> oh, I should <laughs> tell you, you don't get paid. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Creek. Like, what? She's making oh, money. Oh, I see. I was, <laughs> is that a business? No. Um, well, you do get those, paid. Those theaters, joke. they was... say you get shit money unless you do two. Yeah. Somebody says that. I'm just doing one. I'm blowing it out. Yeah. But you don't yeah. have to fly or uh, I don't have to fly. Hotel. I'm going to take, take a bike gig. up there. It's beautiful. Maybe or walk. Walk, oh, walk yeah. to the park up there. Back then, I lived walking distance, so I, I walked so to cool. the beacon. Wow. I was like, nice. This is what Jerry probably does. You that's got that so right. Cool. I heard, uh, I heard, uh, um, one of the old guys, the Bruce. Bruce? Lenny? Nope. Springsteen. Uh, drives to his gigs in New Jersey. Just drives, get out to himself, takes his guitar. And he's like, hey, I'm here. I get. I, I bet get he that. drives a ratty car too. Just probably, to yeah, yeah, some beater. <laughs> there was it. It was. This was in the movie Philadelphia. I just heard an amazing <laughs> Bruce Springsteen story that was on a podcast about the Clash. Um, and Joe Strummer in 1975 saw Springsteen play the Hammerstein Ballroom in yep. London. Yep. And he was with a little band called the 101ers, and he said, "I have to start a new band." He saw the show. He said, "I have to start a new band. I have to be on my own." And also, Peter Gabriel was in that audience, too. What? He left Genesis and said, I have to start a new solo career. Because of that. Both saw that Springsteen show and said, wow. I have to start a whole new life. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I hope you don't see that. Then I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Louie at the Garden. Oh, How was that? Hear it. Great. Adrian killed. Really? Adrian and Pellucci's one of the killed. best. Underrated. Also, that style, I, it's like, I've never done a place like that. Have you guys? 
arena? Twice. Really? Who do you well, do the garden with? Schumer twice, and then I've done a bunch of other arenas with oh, Louis. that actual oh, arena. Yeah. It just seems like the the styles don't go with every style of comedy. Totally. Like, conversational is like, it seems like it'd be lost here. And Adrian, these dark, just jokes. Oh, wow. Wow, look, look at that. You call her the dark queen. She is a dark queen. She's got one of my favorite jokes of all time where she said, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, my boyfriend threatened to commit suicide. Now I thought, oh, great. I can't kill myself or people are going to think we were in love. Uh, <laughs> that's a perfect joke. That's brilliant. <laughs> you can't top that joke. Yeah. yeah. My, 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 my ex was in, um, was in 9-11. People say he's a hero, but would a hero steal back an engagement ring? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that one's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's funny, ironically. Oh, it's not ironic? Oh, cool. <laughs> Did she do the uh, MLK chunk? Because mm -hmm. that's pretty dicey. She did, and it was great. Yeah, she yeah. compares MLK to Ted Bundy. I won't give it away, but it's uh, it's killer. I think in an arena or a big room like that, dark material actually does better. I agree. Cause, really? Because they're yeah. like, go for it. If it's if it's a guy like Louis, if it's it's a if you if, if he has an audience that can appreciate a dark joke, I I agree. I think a dark joke can really crush. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they're like, geez, so you get like a double reaction. You get a laugh and a ah. Yeah. Would shock at telling that type of joke was, in such a historic arena. Talking about wanting more New Yorkers to die from COVID <laughs> so we get more parking. Yeah. It was just like, wow. They're showing it on the pay per view. When is just saw? He said like, I, yeah, I can see Adrian set. Oh great! Wow. Fuck. Which is awesome. Yeah, good. It was for fun her. though. A couple of that chick from Brown Bunny was there. Trey or Matt? Christina Ricci? No. no. Uh, uh, Chloe Sevigny? Svenny. Chloe Svenny. Oh, yeah. she's fun. Yeah, yeah. The one of the two um, uh, South Park guys. Whoa, what? Yeah. The Which blonde one? or the brunette? The brunette. And I couldn't Matt place Stone. him. Matt Stone. And I was like, where was that? Is he from like Saturday Basketball? You know when you know somebody? It's like, <laughs> where do I know this guy? Yeah. I know one half of the greatest comedy duos. Could, yep. We got fucking Conan O'Brien on the South Park. Nothing like this. I got Conan Slow Brian. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you look so much like Conan. <laughs> have you gotten that? I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get Conan quite a bit because, you know, I throw the hair up. and yeah. I'm like, There you go. Irish. What are you going to do? This is, good, this is good Manhattan. Um, yeah, can, yeah. can we do another? What, what's the next round? What are we, what's the other round we're doing? Oh, good call. Yeah, Service. hit the lights. So does that mean we need another? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. Have you ever done a Godfather? My house drink? I have. He knows it. My house. My house drink. We drank it on this pod. You didn't ah, love it. You thought it was too ultimate sweet. Ultimate old man drink. Ultimate old man. I'll yeah, take that. Yeah, a little sweet. You liked them. I did. Yeah. I was fucking bombed, dude. <laughs> So it's so, it's a we went out for dinner that. afterwards. That's right. We, were we went up a salad. We we're just yeah. like, ah, yeah, this is a nice dinner. <laughs> His wife's like, oh. yeah, we thought it was a good idea to get martini drunk after showing up drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just ripped. Let's roll it. <laughs> that was like, a night. Going. That was a dude. Night. Martinis get you hard. I had oh, some two yeah. before. Hard. Went to Keens before for a burger before Louis. Two martinis and you are fucked up. How's the How's oh, the yeah. burger, Keens? Amazing. Uh, uh, Keens underrated is legendary. steakhouse Killer. burgers. They're underrated. Yeah, that you think you gotta get a steak, right? But a twenty five dollar burger is also a good thing to get. That's true. It's too expensive though. It is, and you would you walk out of there with what three hundred bucks spent? No, because it's burgers so fifty hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty. Okay, but also you, Four it's martinis. the experience. I mean, that is like yeah. a legendary New York place. You oh, get a yeah. damn Never good cocktail. Before. The vibe is beautiful. And then we went to see Louis at the, his yeah. retirement set at the Garden. How was the set? <laughs> set was really good. Yeah. I heard it's good. He's like, I'm not retired. I was like, I was like, dude, I don't know if I can be friends with you anymore if you're not gonna be a comic. Ah. Really only with is he is he doing the Tarantino shit? He said he's taking one full year off and then we'll see. I don't believe that. He'll pop Everyone in. Everyone comes back. Yep. Our yeah. egos are too big. Mm -hmm. You heard my card table story. Yeah. Exactly. What's your We're, card table story? Oh, I just, people weren't paying attention to me for a second at the casino at the <laughs> Mirage, so I just put all my money on a hand, like, look, guys, look. Yeah. We need attention. Mm -hmm. We do. I would say the same goes for therapy. You know, you can tell your therapist is getting a little bored. You're like, I killed my dad. You know, oh, you just right. throw something <laughs> out there just to get it going. Just to make one dog Make Ari the Godfather because it's not my uh, favorite. Do it I liked you know. it, but it's just not my favorite. I, I want yeah. I want your hits. Anything's a better father than Matt Salicu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing with Lagavulin? Yeah. People say do it with a blended scotch, but I'm like, that's for bars. Yeah. Treat somebody well. Anything's oh, better than Matt Peter. <laughs> so Ari, if this was his swan song, uh, Louis swan song, was it? Is he going out on top? It was great. But in he's the not round done. at the Garden, yeah, it was great. His closer was fucking so good. Let me do every bit from it. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> He's not going to use it anymore. <laughs> That's true. 25 bucks on was, his website. It was fun. I was sitting next to Shane. He was not drinking. What a fucking loser. Wow. Really? Whoa, what yeah. happened? Know, he said he got tuned up the night before and he's going to the Eagles game the next day. Yeah. Well, that's very he's reasonable. Like, I need a night off. Yeah, let an alcoholic recover. Dude, yeah. so we so so we're we all these backstage Delta Club passes for afterwards to say hi, you know. And so and so we're waiting. Was it like there. an after party type thing? More of a group come say hi in the green room. Mm. It was yeah. like lasted for an hour. Yeah. Um that's where I saw everybody. But uh so we're waiting, we're like let's have, let everybody clear, and then we'll go down there. And some ushers like, guys, guys, take kind of take off. And Shane's like, he tries to play big man. He swears this doesn't happen like this, but it did. He goes, oh, no, actually, we're going to the Delta Lounge. We have passes. So, And the guy's like, I don't give a shit who you are. You got to get out of here. <laughs> and then Shane's like, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how we all pretty much are. Yep. That's how we all, we all see ourselves the first way. Yes. But we are. The second one. Whatever yeah. you need, I'll, I'll do. Mm-hmm. Can I sweep up? <laughs> that's pretty. That sounds like a fun night. Hey, I got a joke. I don't know how to sell it. All right. You guys do that in this pod. Right? Sure, yeah, we do yeah. bits. Okay, so he just here's the setup. You guys are the fucking wordplay guys. <laughs> so, if it, look, two things. One is uh, after after a game of some kind, like the cleanup is tremendous, crazy. Yeah. All these cuffs and whatever. So I say release a couple of these fucking Asian women out there oh, and just go nuts on the cleanup. Oh, that's great with they the love, cans. Yeah, and then. Step two, take that to that garbage island over the, in the ocean. Like, how are we going to th- launch some of them out of a fucking helicopter with some <laughs> life vests on and let them fucking... I thought you were going to say let them make the change money for it. <laughs> yeah, was a, that was a dark the twist end. at the end. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, let them pick it up. Yeah. Let them pick it up. up. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something yeah. there. Something there for something sure. There. Yeah. They would love that, too, because they don't have to go all over Manhattan. They can just go right to the One the stop garden. shop, yeah. They pay admittance. It's a great Godfather. They pay admission. That's a yes, great Godfather. just that you sell tickets to get the the cans. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, their who farmers' wants the right to work this, like a, like a barber shop chair. Right. I think you got something there. Okay. Those Asians with the can. They're, I mean, they're so de- de- determined. Unbelievable. You think? What? I mean, I sound like my dad here, but just mm. put that effort into any other gig. But, yeah, any, yeah. But then now you got hours, you got a punch clock. Yeah, you got, you got a boss. Exactly. You're working your own times. You're working bottle duty. I think it's the same with the hookers. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to be is unionized. Is that still a thing, though? Is oh, that, yeah. Is, at, at which grocery stores have that? Almost hookers? all of them. Yeah, Almost yeah. all of them? Yeah. Have what? Hookers? <laughs> at grocery stores? All grocery stores. Which I have hookers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Produce? Hodus. Somewhere between all right. six and nine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is nice. Okay. <laughs> we got a lapper here. Hey, Golden. <laughs> are we? Are, what, what are we doing for Count the next it. round? Can I critique this Godfather? Wait, is it out yet? Oh, yeah, it's shit. Out. You got one. Can I have a sip if you I want? I only have enough please. to make one. But like did you not have orange. enough orange peels to make it right? Oh, wow. you told you it was coming. <laughs> Jewish Simon. <laughs> 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 We need that uh, that Ameri- what is it? The <laughs> millionaire yeah. wife. What is it yeah. called? Uh, who, who wants to be, be a millionaire? millionaire? Oh, thank you. Wow, that does look pretty nice. That's now. a nice that's little on orange peel. That's so what do we do jam. now for round two? So it sounded like you guys had drinks listed. Um, should we do paper planes? Let's do a plane. Where'd sure, you come sure. from? What's your what's your background? Colorado. From Colorado, yeah. Go, go, can I say it in Spanish? Go oh, I like it. I like it. Just moved here five months ago. Oh. So new to the city, yeah. How do you know about this podcast? It was just a, a I'm just personal a big fan of, of this podcast. I like Are You Garbage. Uh, that's kind of how I found out about Mark and uh, oh. Sam. Oh. So, I just saw those guys today. Guys this, yeah, well, they're coming podcast. on soon. Hey. I just saw them earlier. You did, them, you did their pod? No, they did my pod today. Ah. Uh, I okay. wanted to feel special. What? If you did a Bam Bam, I wouldn't have felt as special. Yeah, exactly. No, they did mine. Uh, and right. I had to work. To like, can we do two? I'm like, no, I have a bigger thing going on. Yeah, yes. <laughs> exci- I'm excited to have them on. That's gonna be a good one. Yeah, that's. Good. I think it's a St. Patty's episode too. Oh, you got that oh, right. They, that's smart. Hey, can I come back in here with Stavi at some point? I what would a like fun that. time at that wedding. Oh, Holy oh, shit! Yeah, and he was that sober. Was, it was so fucking good. We can bring in uh, uh, Catfish Po Boys. And fucking go for it. Yeah, soft shell crab from a gas station. <laughs> uh, that was, yeah, you know it. That was insane. Like I felt so shitty the next day, and Stav just kept going with the po' boys. Warrior. Yeah, he's an animal. But he wasn't drinking like we were. That's yeah. true. I'm doing Athens, Greece. Yeah. What? European tour. I'm doing all weird cities so I can have some fun. Whoa. Can you, do you think you can sell tickets in Greece? We'll your, see. Your career's in we'll ruins. See. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay taxes there. I go home with a lot more money. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to get all the whole fucking thing from stuff. Maybe I'll try to convince him to come. 
Nah, he won't. Nah, he's yeah, got his yeah. own shit going on. He's killing it. He's just like five Wilbers. Yeah. yeah. Killing it. His new pod is funny as hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very Stabby funny. Stavi solves your problems. Is that, wait, no, what's it? Stavi's called, World. Stavi's World. That's yeah. it. Yeah, fat comedians are having a moment. Yeah. yeah. They take up more of the screen. It's good for the it's good for the thumbnail. <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think if you see you a gotta fat get Matt comic. Peters on a podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not click that? He's adorable. I know. Look at that. Wait, uh, what's that reminiscent of? He looks like Dennis Franz. It's Bobby's world. Bo- Bobby's world. Yeah. Pull up Dennis Franz. Kind of, I'm he does, telling no, you, he absolutely looks okay. like Dennis Franz. I don't think the people at home know who Dennis Franz. No, they is. don't. I said that on his podcast. Look at oh, that! Yeah. Come on, Dude, match that, that up. That's Dobby. That is one of my best calls. This guy is Stav's dad. <laughs> All right. What have you guys been doing? What's new in the I fucking d- well, world besides I, me doing the Beacon March 24th? Let me throw this out there. <laughs> so I just did Miami improv. Boo to the city. The city is fine. The people are fine. The staff is amazing. Staff's amazing. They, great they, club. Great club. They treat you well. They treat you well. They gave me a gift after. They couldn't have been nicer. They helped me with yeah. merch. They drove me home every night. Oh, great. But the crowds. They, they show up late. They show up late. Yeah. They, they show up late. They're, they're better on, than it. Yes. So they're Jay all and blow. I had this problem. I was like, I'm not doing it. But I was like, you know what? Let me go with Jay and Justin Silver. We rented a beach house. Stay there for a week. Nice. By the pool. It was oh, great. You live, baby. It was great. Um, <laughs> Mark and I fly out the next morning at 7 a.m. You got that right. It's yeah. fucking winter. Go to Miami. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to uh, March. I'll so these two March. girls, Jay's hitting on these two girls, and he was like, "Hey, so what are you, what are you doing? What's going on?" And they're like, "We like you, but that other comic was an asshole." And Jay's like, "Friends with me?" So he's yeah. like, "No, no, no, he's nice." And they're like, "He likes school shootings." And he's like, "I guarantee you, they're so them. literal in Miami." <laughs> he goes, I guarantee you, he's he not them. like school shootings. Like he literally said, he's happy when schools get shot. <laughs> and then Jay just had this moment. That would be realized, great if they pulled your transcript, though. <laughs> right, right. He literally said, that. "Jay just realized where he was and he's talking to." Him. He goes. Yeah, he's a dick. Anyway, what are you guys doing? Uh, what are you guys doing later? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of being friends with you or oh, me. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of defending. Out. Sell me out. Oh, yeah. Defend and then and then be like, all right, I'm not going to turn you. Right, right. Oh, yeah. I don't do that. When someone says Mark's a dick to me, I'm like, you're right. He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> what specifically did he do? Uh, well, I love that he literally said. That's a big one. Crowd. He literally, he literally, said, literally said, said he well, likes I'm school not shootings. literal. And then if you go, here's the playback, they go, Thank ah, you. whatever. Oh, like, no, see. whatever. <laughs> not whatever. You're wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I, I have to say, I like that this is not in the martini or the up glass, because people, they do they do that. I, I'm not a big martini. So you want to be the, yeah. The yeah, drink's yeah. already pink. Do I want to look like I'm drinking a Cosmo? Yeah, good point. Yeah. This is a whiskey drink. Yeah. It's a whiskey drink. Why, why do you put sometimes a lemon good. peel and sometimes an orange peel? It's just It depends cheers. on how the oil will, like, sort of accentuate the flavors of the drink. Gay. <laughs> that's a very good paper plane. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Try that, Fatty. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Tastes like oral herpes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already good. have it, so I'm good. It's good. Is that got grapefruit in it? What is that? No, it's uh, fresh lemon, some of the Bodega Cat straight rye, a little bit of fresh lemon, and Amaro Nonino Quintessentia. Oh, wow. Oh. That Amaro is nice in the stomach. You don't feel, you don't. I, I should say I have a Jewy stomach. Mm-hmm. I arrived here with diarrhea as usual. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. It's a yeah. real problem. It's like I, every day as a Jew, it, my body's rebelling against my lifestyle. Well, yeah. you're living like a goy, but I, you got the body. We're inbred. With I talk about this my special Jew. It's available now, but like uh, we're inbred <laughs> and we're falling apart. We're actively dying million. all the time. I remember David Tell once said to me in a car. I was so hungover, and he goes, "Let me tell you something." Jews can't drink. Ah. <laughs> it's true. We can't. He's got but we want to. We want to hang. Yeah. Somebody, but the Irish don't come. You don't hear Irish guys complain about their stomach. No, that's they true. Do not at all. They don't. They're falling apart too. They're no. They're it's no picnic. They, all they eat is potatoes. They get carbs to soak it up. We don't do that. That's, that's true. true. That's true. Borscht is not a great uh, booze suck up. <laughs> Latkes are not Latkes. Cats is deli. Yeah. Cats is deli. Is we don't actually. eat that shit enough. Rough. That's no. like a special occasion food. Two questions for you guys. Yeah. Mm. One. Can we have a night this summer? I'm off from June, pretty much June 1st when I'm done in Athens. I'm going to hang out for a bit till end of October. Can we have a night where we finish an entire Bodega Cat uh, rye over, over rocks somewhere sure. in the city? We, we can have a morning. 
<laughs> Who cares? Okay. Yeah. We we did one of these on Rogan. Did we not finish one of these? Did we finish a whole box? I believe we did, yeah. I mean, I would love to have someone do a montage of Mark Norman trying to push Bodega Cat and Rogan <laughs> ignoring it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people have done that. Yeah, yeah. That's enough of that. Uh, you know there. what? Doesn't Rogan matter. did that. The Bodega Cat bottle is still falling off the shelf. It's legal in a lot of cities right now. You got that right. And it's moving right. quickly. And it's and I'll, I'll say right here, it's a damn good fucking whiskey. Hell yeah. It's damn a good rye. rye. Sh- Shane, how do you feel? about it i'm a big fan i prefer rye so hey, it's got that, it's got good that answer bartender. well done colorado so, for, okay, so here's my other questions where's the other guy where's bear jew beer jew hey, beer jew is he coming back or is he just Maybe. lost in asia he's we'll doing like a he louis does. thing he's like i'll come back if i have to so well you're not back there no we're, he, not, we're not saving a spot for you no he's gonna he be might a, be gone four months five months anyway. no he's talking a year plus first of all i love that for him not great for the pot. He's pulling an Ari, <laughs> basically. Yeah, Gary Veter does this all the time. He's always like, I might not be able to do this gig. I'm like, well, then you might get replaced with Anthony DeVito, who drinks. <laughs> Good point. You don't want to be the sober guy who gets replaced with a drinker. Does That's Veter true. try to get you to smoke weed? No. He stops. <laughs> he does he's just kind of sober now. He works uh, out. He's so I mean he hangs. He's got problems. Like he's up yeah. at ten AM gambling. Fatherhood <laughs> is fatherhood has really done him bad. The what? Uh, fatherhood has really done him bad. I know. It's boring. Yeah, it's boring. Uh, he's turned into that dude. I didn't know he gambles. Oh, he's, he gambles, oh he's got dude. some dark side. Dude, we went what? to when we went to uh, the March Madness weekend. Oh, you're right. He, he was, was like there. It's a, he's betting on a fucking girls' college. Girls on <laughs> yeah, he's betting right. on girls' MIT. Dude. Forty-three hundred on the Mystic. Yeah. <laughs> Colgate's got to cover. Uh, he was sitting on a, on a phone book, just Seattle Storm all day. <laughs> he brought on. He bet on the Britney Griner release date. <laughs> oh, you know what? I got to do. We do toast sometimes on this. I got to do a toast because I was with Vita at the airport. We we're like, you know, we just to we grind like, dog. <laughs> to grind dog, no. <laughs> To a toast to uh, just people who give you the laugh in public. Uh, so nice. Vito and I are in line at Quiznos, and I say, hey, do you want to water your little bitch? And this black one in front of us starts laughing hysterically. Uh, and I was like, a toast to that person. Yes. Toast to that lady. I like that shit. That's to you, nice. but I like when you're inappropriate in public. And, and someone uh, just like joins and they in. Like, That's you. <laughs> These guys are fun. Because we've all had the opposite where they go, oh, how dare you? Or whatever. And you're like, fuck you. We're at the airport. We're living. <laughs> yeah, That's we're no way to fun. talk to your friend. Shut up. Yeah. Why yeah. I yeah. Why, uh, <laughs> give you a raspberry. <laughs> don't, show, don't make me show you my pimp hand. <laughs> I do declare. Uh, Rogan had a bit about it. He's like, I'm going to hit you with a book, knock some sense into you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, old pimps have the best lines. <laughs> um, so you want to be a full-time guy here? Do you work? Uh, yeah, I work at a little place uh, in Gramercy. It's called Giorgio's. Giorgio's. Is it a stand? Sounds classy. Um, No, not really. It's yeah. kind of right by the uh, Gramercy Tavern. Plug. Yeah. There you go. Go to Giorgio's. See yeah, old Shaney. Yeah, what? I've been known to do a little little flare. What? Once you have fl- yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Wow. <laughs> Where was this? You, geez, you should have been pulling that you out hours ago. This, in the resume. <laughs> this guy's impressing me. Yeah, hey. I agree. Who else have you seen? We, we had saw two, th- two last week? Two last week. We have two more this week after this. Can, let's throw this out there. Uh-oh. Yeah. One, one episode over the summer. Me and DeRosa guest bartend? Mmm, like we could die. Off mic. <laughs> that might be when DeRosa dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be long. His doctor told me to stop drinking. He goes, I want a second opinion. And his second doctor was like, yeah, I think you're ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the good news is he opened a health shop. Oh, wait, he owns a bar. <laughs> with, with he opened up literally a sandwich shop bar. Yeah. yeah. Literally the most unhealthy. Shit. And, and these, he's like, it's the two places I go on the way home from the stand. Uh, <laughs> and these no, sandwiches no, are no picnic. I oh mean, my it's god, fucking yeah, wild! It's it's like no doctors burritos. like you know what you need more corned beef and whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> get some bread in there too. That's a country song. <laughs> Corned <laughs> beef and whiskey. I do. Lo- DeRosa <laughs> truly makes me laugh like harder. He's one of the greatest he's guys. One of the funniest dudes. Yeah, well, Joey Roses. I didn't want to say it. You will be missed, Joe. You yes, will be missed. we love you. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to play some Sarah McLaughlin right RIP. here. So we're going to the Super Bowl, and Kreischer goes, we got Shane, we got Norman, we need one more guy. So we all threw out a bunch of names, and then we looked up. Most everybody was on the road. Yeah. And I said, I know who won't be on the on the road. DeRosa. So DeRosa. he's coming. But he doesn't oh, even like great. sports. That's Dude, for he, us. He said he talked some either. shit to Soder. He was like, uh, just some light shit. Uh, you know, your 49ers didn't do well, and they weren't sportsmen. 
and Soder fucking lost it on him. Uh, he was like, fuck you. Wow. You're a fucking pussy. You're a girl. You don't watch sports. Wow. And then Duros are like dug in a little more. And then he's like, dude, Soda's getting mad. I'm like, I know, and it's over something ridiculous, so you should double down. <laughs> he has no right to be mad. He was like, go harder. You know, he should have made fun of some nerd shit that DeRosa likes. He should have been like, Star Wars was overrated. Yeah. Horror mo- horror is not a good genre. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird thing about DeRosa. Star, just- Star Wars, yeah. DeRosa always like, like Star Wars, the one, the worst ones. Yeah. Star really? Yeah. Well, he's, he's, like a, he's like a whiskey drinking, coke head guy, fun guy, bar owner. But I woke up at his house once after a bender and I was like, where am I? And it's just Nintendo video games, <laughs> Star Trek poster, comic books. Uh, and I'm like, what? what Duck the Hunter stinks. Yeah. yeah. He has the house of someone who has not gotten laid in a while. Yeah. Yes. But he gets late. You're like three minutes late on the soundbite sound. Like All you're fuck? reminiscing about is in relation to. Oh yeah, Joe passing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll be good. Joe, but Joe will be good at Super Bowl. He'll, he'll, be fun. he'll drink. No he'll one be played fun. Mario sixty four like Joe. He'll be the only That's guy. Pre- I'm prepping his play song again or? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you ski? I can't ski, dude. Okay, Are you good. kidding me? I'm a city hick. I can't drive. You think I can ski? <sighs> you can't drive? <laughs> no. You can't no. ride a bike. <laughs> I'm worthless. You, I have no balance. You don't even ride it. City bikes are a city thing. I've I done it. I'm, I, I, I get wipe out at least twice. Really? Yeah, I'm not good. Well, people are reckless in this city. Patreon. They, they, I love it. It doesn't Patreon. look like a Jew, but it comes out it, it, they're, oh, they're, yeah. People are reckless. Well, they, they, they really go full speed. They try to cut you off. <laughs> they go full speed. <laughs> full speed. <laughs> On a bicycle. <laughs> uh, this is adorable. I'm not good. Are you a good skier? I'm pretty good. He's pretty good. good. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty good. I'm not as good as O'Neal. He's the best one of the comics I know, but... but um. No, you I'm pretty you, fucking good. And I got jumps down this time. And you got balls. Like, you will go hard. He yeah. broke his wrist last time uh, trying to beat Bert. No, I was racing O'Neill. Oh, O'Neill. And I fucking. This is a great sales wrist. pitch, by the way. The good skiers breaking bones. Yeah, true. You're trying to talk me into this? Well, he's also 78. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. They're already, they're already brittle. We need hey. we, let's can you make a dealer's choice uh, drink for just make one. What you got? What's your Because I don't want to waste so much alcohol, but just make one and we'll. Uh, I brought a couple stuff to make us. Yeah. Another, yeah. another place my Judaism came out. Sure. Uh, uh, I don't want to waste <laughs> anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make a dealer's choice and we'll we'll take a sip and because we got we got other bartenders we got to tonight for the. Yeah, we have we two, two other, more. Is this your first one. Yeah. Yeah, he's number one. Oh God, no, no. All right, yeah, fucking three per. Well, yeah. you have to finish them all. True. We do have to kill them. But he will. Huh? The I got shows tonight. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I had couples therapy. <laughs> I had just drunk, one? Drunk. Just, just you one? have couples therapy after this? <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. No, I got bonfire first. I'll sober up a little. Uh, you wear that hat to couples therapy? <laughs> I think you're going to lose. <laughs> the show's the boss. Let the fucking therapist the boss. <laughs> you wear a Legion of Skank sweatshirt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's your, is Lewis your therapist? Uh, <laughs> you gotta show these bitches what time it is. He just doesn't listen to me. Shut up, cunt. <laughs> March 5th, I'll be in Salt Lake City with Mark Norman. Yeah. And Ian so, Fidance and Ryan O'Neill, Ren Azizi, Sean Patton. Fucking all star oh, show. Patton's Second coming? show just added. First show's. Shut, Patton's coming. Yeah. For That's one of my gone. favorite clubs. Talk about sleep apnea. Watch out. Give him Tuesday, his own Wednesday, room. Thursday, you're doing. Sold out. Yeah. Six shows sold out Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, good. Wednesday, it's, Thursday. That's the new jam. Salt Lake. We Is did. It? Well, I, You're going to sell it regardless. I, I, here's what happened. I did it to try to get into the NBA All-Star Weekend because was, they used to do a celebrity game. And there were people who were pretty low level in that game. So I was like, I can get in. You thought you had a chance? <laughs> Adam Ray did it. I have a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Adam Ray did it? Yeah. You're bigger than him. This is my friend's talking me down here. No, no, yeah. you're I have than a him. chance. You're bigger than him. You do. So, so, and Hassan Minaj did it like years ago when he was like, "This is different. That's an ethnic pull." Don't, don't, <laughs> don't make you, don't bring that shit to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring your fucking horse shit here. They don't like Indians in basketball. <laughs> Shut up. Do you know what that is? But There's a ton of I Indian had, players. But there were there were people that I feel like I could have. My my agents were confident, but they're. I don't think they're doing a celebrity game now. What do you mean? I don't think I think they pulled that and they they might just Kevin be, Hart ruined it. Pro, no, he's fucking good, dude. He is good. He's a good basketball player, and he's got a good tequila. So if Kevin Hart wants to come on here and promote it, wait, Hell yeah. you gotta get in. Wait, they're not doing the All Star. The- I'm pretty bummed about it. Who else is in? Cause, Sandler. Because now I'm spending like four. Sandler. No, he. Uh, Who plays? Who's no, the, the play celebrity? Good, he played. never. He never plays in that game though. Dude, Who Sarah Silverman played in our in our comedians basketball league. She, we like took her as a, like a. She was like, hey, she plays, and so we took her as a sub once because people go on the road. 
she's awful. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like you that built that up. Like she was good. Yeah. And she's just like not good. And I realized, like, oh, everybody let her play because she's like they she's, like her. She's but she's fun. She's a woman. Yeah. yeah but there's dudes she's in the game who are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she knows how to act like she plays well, with her hands on her hip. Who else plays? Like who's she was celebrity? in like the Gary Shandling game. Yeah, who else could play? Nobody's bigger than you. Yeah, who's who's a comic or or well, here's, an actor? Here's, here's Rafi so, Bastos he used to play professionally. Oh, he's wow. a tall guy. He's, he's always trying to play with me, but my my neck is finally good enough to play again. Okay, but he's not a celebrity in America. I'm talking I'm celebrity talking about here. Comics. You're yeah, about celebrities? he's six six. Who's celebrity. trying to get in? No one's trying to get in. So what happened was. Uh, I didn't get in, and now a Hilton Garden Inn or whatever the hell I'm – we should believe where I'm staying. But a shit hotel <laughs> is like 400-something a night, and I'm bringing uh, Vita. So I'm like, this is hilarious. Yeah, you're losing money now. Uh, you know what the what hotel is did? What is it? It's called uh, The Witching Hour. And, the uh, Witching Hour? Ooh, yeah. Oh, Bieber's going to play. For things. sure Bieber's going to play. You, okay. He gets a spot. Yeah, okay. I'm How not saying I'm fucking 15? Bieber right. exciting. You're not starting. But, but I'll, make it, I'll make it fun. Oh. I'll do some antics. Who's that? Tom Bieber can't play anymore. Crossover. Segura Who's can't that? play anymore because it's broken. This smells good. Though. What is in the witching hour? So it's a tequila-based cocktail, and uh, uh, I brought a, one of my favorite liqueurs called Strega. It's uh, kind of like an Amaro. It's a digestif, even though it's so light. It's a saffron liqueur from Italy. Ooh. So a little bit of fresh lemon. Points for syrup. bringing your own shit. Yeah. Cheers. Here, here. Cheers. Tequila, he does that at the Strega. movies. What's he your name? His own Shane. Snacks. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. Shane O'Brien. That is fucking excellent. That is a great drink. Hey, cheers, man. Holy shit. Did like you it? invent Pass that? It. Yeah. Mark. That's Whoa. Original. Yeah. Why you the original. You invented hour? it? Why did the witching hour? Because Streg is a time for witch. It's from a ah. city called Benevento, where it's kind of the home gathering place for witches back in the day. I don't know. Can but I tell yeah. you? So based off of this. Wow. Can I tell you about a drink? Ooh, that's good. Okay. Very good there, that's Colorado. Great, that's, and, it, and it goes down Ooh, It's smooth. like lemon cello smells like. It does smell like cello. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. All right, so you are going to, to, U- to Utah. But you're playing, the, but you're not doing the All Star game. No, but it's mm. all right. It's are they like, not doing the celebrity challenge? I don't know, but I'm 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 a little. Bummed. Who is the lowest level celebrity that's played? <laughs> I don't. I, this is a mean game to play. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying you could get in. Well, it's like Nate saying he wants to play in the fucking pro am. It's like who else is there, Nate? I yeah, know. I know. But how many more years do I have of this? Honestly, my ah, body's falling apart. Good I'm point. rooting for it, and you. I've been training. I want you to play. I've been training. My jump shot's back. I put every day on the road. I bought my entire tour basketball sneakers so they'd feel guilty if they wouldn't play with me every day. <laughs> so we were we were pooping every day at the rec center, and we were playing full court with some some kids who could hoop. And look, you bought I, Veter. V, I made Veter play. Uh, you, how's you, bought, he? you found a f- size five shoe. <laughs> 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 we got him the Giannis's. Everyone's wearing the Giannis sneakers. Oh, nice. I want it to be camaraderie. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that's nice. It was I, fun. Hey, I'm sorry. I just got to break in here real quick. I, yeah. I heard that kid say, hey, dad, I, I thought that was a joke that that uh, uh, Salakus actually has bread. Children. Well, you think you think we just <laughs> brought in a yeah. random kid? I don't know who. <laughs> I assume it was Peter's on? kid. No, he looks just like him. He's the next partner. He's balding. Oh. <laughs> 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 he's got that gross mustache. <laughs> hey, you know, it looks uh, like he's on an iPad. He's actually photographing us the entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> he directed this episode. Um, I think you can get in, but they don't do it. I I don't know. We didn't go. Near, I feel like we're talking about this way too long. Okay. It's not that interesting. Fair, fair, it's fair. just not that interesting. But I mean, you know, I uh, you we'll see. Do I, I, don't I think, I think you got happen. a shot. I think you should just go in there and say hello. So who's on the list? Let us let us figure out who the yeah biggest who, who played. Yeah, the let, look it up. Yeah. Who played the last uh, NBA All Star uh, celebrity? We job. also do have to get another bartender. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shane. By the Thanks way, very impressive. Killed it, man. Good. Thanks Killed for having it. me, guys. I like your apron. I like your style. Thank Looks you. like yeah. Conan O'Brien. That'll play. Good flair <laughs> on the apron. A couple flare. of pins uh-huh. and buttons. Yep. Great yep. arms. Hey. How do we keep it going? Hey, hey, folks, this show is brought to you by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing, always changing. I'm growing right now. I'm, I'm getting, hard. Yeah. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through it. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can guide you on that journey of self-discovery. We both do therapy. You got me in with the big Al. Yeah. I'm hooked. I love them. Changed my life. Helps. It's good for you. Clear out the garbage. If you're thinking of therapy, get better help a try. It's entirely online. Designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash drunk today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. 
dot com slash drunk. Get on it. The best way to prioritize you and your health is to keep yourself hydrated with liquid IV. My favorite flavor is I like watermelon. Mark, what do you like? I like pina colada. Use it first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down after you uh, peed your pants at a party the night before. I, I use it hungover, uh, free from gluten, dairy, soy. Liquid IV contains three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Liquid IV uses cellular transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo Promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. Yeehaw. It's displate time. Get your own artwork printed on a metal poster that only takes 20 seconds to install. Just pop that magnetic sticker on the wall and hang that poster. No holes in your wall and change it in seconds. They have officially licensed design from Fight Club, Alien, South Park, and more. If you can think of it, they can print it on a metal poster. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorites and get get your ready-to-hang piece of art. That's 27% if you buy one, or save 27% if you buy one or two, and get 34% off when you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code DRUNK when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code DRUNK. Or click the link below in the show notes. <laughs> Keep going. All right. I do have to take a pee break. My remember bladder those, shit. Remember those uh, celebrity games you used to watch? Uh, the baseball, the pro baseball celebrity. It was celebrity, like Scott yeah. Rogowski played in the those baseball. Those were so fun. Who? It was like Pam Anderson Rogowski, and, and, uh, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel or whoever it was. He back said it was then. the best day of his life. Really? He played in the hitting, celebrity baseball game. Hitting that out of stadium. Do you, pull wow. up the Chris Christie. Play. Wait, wait, wait. This, this is embarrassing, oh, Sam, if you don't make this list. Noah Carlock. I mean... Brittany, I forget. No, there's some heavy hitters in there. Machine Gun Kelly's a real. Thank you, Shane. Star. All right. Hey, Alex, so, two cents a Peloton instructor. What the fuck? What? <laughs> I know, but some of, look, some of those are Quavo's a heavy Wait, hitter. Anderson Vareja? He can't play in the all-star, in the celebrity. Uh, they get to, no, it's fun to have some retired pros in there. It makes the game fun. That's true. They're, they know okay. what they're doing. Okay, the other team. Olympic high jump champion, Chris Ajax. Oh. I'm better than Tiffany Haddish. What? She's bigger, but I'm better. Alex uh. Jones? What are we doing here? <laughs> <This is crazy. laughs> Alex Jones is a mean crossover. <laughs> <laughs> he crossed over to the dark side. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. I, I, dude, I, we gotta get we gotta get Marill into this. Yeah, into this let's MVP. dominate, go. dominate, guys. Start tweeting the NBA. Yeah, okay, they've been doing it already. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. There's no hope. Ask them if they're cowards Sam because Rick they're afraid that. Sam Marill's going to cross over one of their stars and embarrass them and ruin All their All I market. want is one clip of crossing over like a former NBA. Get around somebody. Just one, like, just one drop step. Let's, give me one. Yeah. All they, have, all they have to do is give you a bad potato salad the day before, and you're like, I can't play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got diarrhea. No, that'll be my Jordan flu game, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> diarrhea on the court. He, he <laughs> built <game>. it. <laughs> I have IBS. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Woo. Let me pee. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. All yeah, right, go pee. If I had to fart, I would do it right now, but oh, I don't have enemy. one. Damn it. Norm, have you talked about the Vic yet? No. Okay. I'm just, I've been Zooming all day. I had six Zoom meetings today with really? directors and all these people who want to do it, and it's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare. Let me just go in, bleeding. bang it out, and yeah. get get off my ass. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Yeah. It's like, ugh. I yeah, know. These meetings suck. Well, so how do you want to do the sound? I don't know. I don't know anything about sound. You guys do the you sound. You do that for me. I want to do it well. You're asking a guy who doesn't even know the terms. Exactly. They're like, we're going to shoot with a camera 6J red flare. I'm like, I don't know anything about camera. I've learned how to tell these people like, hey, I don't know these terms at all. Uh, here's a couple of things I like. Uh, can you make it look like that? What yes. do you use? And I did a thing where I said, don't give me any gifts because like the agency and all them, they give you gifts, which is nice. Yeah. But you have to pretend and go, oh, yeah. that's really great. I, I don't want to do that during that. I'm feeling exactly. special. Give it to me after. Yeah. How about this? How about yeah. this? Oh, girl bartender? I know. <laughs> we're, we're breaking barriers here. Hey. What's the name? Hello. Steffi. Steffi. Welcome. With an F or a PH? Double F. Double. Oh. Uh, double F. Yeah, Freaky right Friday. There. All right. <laughs> I had nothing there. Both of you digging. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steffi. Where, Where are you, bartender? 
Uh, it's called Macau and Tribeca. Oh, Macau. Macau. Like the like the, the gambling island. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, I guess the guys who live in it really like it over there. Is it themed on that? Yes. It oh, is. cool. It's actually themed after an opium den. Oh, Whoa! What the bar is? Yeah. Whoa, that sounds like a cool bar. Macau is the biggest gambling place in America yeah. or in the world. The world. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, right near Hong Kong, right? Where are you from? Um, I grew up here. I'm from Harlem. Hey, right. you're not black. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? It's all different now. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where Yeshiva is. Um, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I went there for a year. Cheap real estate. <laughs> um, I played there once and bombed you horribly. Played Yeshiva University. Yeah, I died. Too dirty. Too dirty, and I, I high fived a woman, and they called. They pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> It's like you died and went to Chew Heaven. I, what what did I miss? I'm sorry. I hate he being that guy, by the way. I did a Yeshiva University. I did a Yeshiva years ago and oh. bombed my tits off. Damn. But, but uh, they just weren't happy. Every woman was dressed like full neck down. You know, every guy was in the curls and the yarmulke. And I made a couple of cracks about it. I think they thought I was Jewish. And yep. once it came out that I wasn't, they were like, all right, let's get rid of this guy. So you time. have appropriated our culture a bit. Quite. A little bit. I was legit. Do you know when you were upset about like a roast joke or something where you know you shouldn't be, but you are? Sure. And you're nice. like looking back, like I shouldn't have been. Sure. When you, it bothered me when you won at the Creaky Awards Best Jew. I wasn't my, my call. I know, but I was like up. I was in the back going, it was new to New York. And I was like, yeah. I might actually win this. And ah. then I was like. <laughs> He's not even joy. I know I shouldn't be upset about a fake award show. It's fucking Millie Vanilli over here. Yeah. Yep. He's taking our. <laughs> he's taking our fucking. Yep. He's taking our religion. Yep. And look, neither of us. You at least grew up very religious. I was, you know, I'm cultural a, I'm a, though. We're both very culturally Jewish. There's no question. True. The yep. hat says it all. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta press on. Press Marcus, on no, Vince, I've heard that is say. hilarious that you won that. I forgot that. I mean, uh, was that a was a joke, was a but still, yeah, I get why I bugged you a little. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was like, um, what? I think I'm all the win. things we've called you, I've called you the K word, <laughs> and you're fine with that, but this fake award show. Yep. yep. I'm not uh, proud of it, but I'm mad. All right. <laughs> we'll take it up with Rebecca. Oh, I hit her. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of domestic violence talk this week. Oh, yeah. We might get demonetized again. <laughs> Steffi, you're next. <laughs> Steffi, what do you uh, what do you got for us? Um, got so what are we? Wait, do, do with? we do the same drinks with her? To yes, see the yeah. we see yeah. we do we do a paper plane in a Manhattan and then a dealer's choice and then a dealer's choice. Okay, and I, I like, like to, a bartender. I like to keep um, my old honestly, one. Honestly, like a year and change. I like it. Just Come on up with it. This podcast has been going on barely two years. Yeah, so around the same amount of time. Mm-hmm. All right, love it. Um, so, so, so what uh, do I do first? Let's start with the Manhattan, right. please. Let's do it, and then oh shit, where is okay, I see So, Steffi, excluding yeah. the characters in the room, who's your favorite stand-up comic? Mm, okay, I just watched Louis C.K. special. Last oh, night, and hire her. I'm, good, like, good answer. Number one, it's good insane. Answer. I don't understand how the man's brain works. It's you don't ridiculous. mind the balding. Sorry. No, I don't actually. <laughs> I, it also makes me sound like she- I am. I am not. I'm not biased against bald men, actually. Yeah. And it also sounds like she's forgiving, which is good. Yes, so, yes. A great quality in a woman. She's not jerking us around. Yeah, Louis is. Great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Steph. All right. So what do you got? Manhattan? So Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, that's very uh, very, Manhattan, very New York. Well, yeah. well, I would use the Bodega Cat whiskey. I think that's better whiskey than the Makers. No, oh. this is Grand Marnay. Oh, okay. In a Manhattan? Ooh, yeah. Whoa. Letter cook. Letter cook. Oh, let her work. I've never heard of let this before. Let her work. Uh, don't barge plane. Know, yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> I am barge planning right yeah. now. Yeah. God damn. Backseat bartender. <laughs> is, that, is, that the is that the bars playing the theme song? <laughs> <laughs> Salicuse. When he gets an on time sound cue, it yeah, is cause for celebration. Yeah, it's very yeah, rare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I four minutes late uh, DeRosa you. play was shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I, it didn't even make, I was like, what is this about? What? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, earlier oh, yeah. today, we weren't talking about it passing. Uh, uh, I keep drinking this old paper plane. It's so good. So it's going to be tough to top there, Steph. Also, when it gets a little watery, it's less tangy. Mm-hmm. I do I do like a little water a water down sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it helps. Well, I don't like a sweet drink, but I do. The paper plane is It's funny. I was texting Tom Papa, who's like a cocktail snob. Name mm-hmm. drop. And uh, <laughs> he's he's always just talking. It was like, Papa John. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of N-words. Yeah. But Tom Papa uh, is like trashing the paper plane. We, when we get him what? back on here, we have to have him have one. He oh, was like, yeah. That sounds disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, he what? had tried he wants, it. He's like a he martini. Tried it and didn't like it. No, he's saying he hadn't even tried it. Yeah. Oh, no, he just he, he just like he's, he's texting me black. 
My wow, black. that's appropriating. Yeah. <laughs> no, he spells black. with a K. Oh, okay, okay. Not a C. <laughs> it spells like a fucking. S- uh, all right, go. But, all right. Uh, no, but I want. Yeah, I want him to try one. But yeah, he's like a martini guy, and he he hated the martinis on here. Oh, really? They were greasy. We were using the. Greasy. They were a little greasy. A little what's, your, uh, what's your standard drink that you have on every podcast episode? Mm? Boulevardier. What's no. with, what's with that? The, we it's, like that and it's, paper it's on plane. A lot Every of episode? Them. Boulevard EA is on a lot. Every is an exaggeration. It's a lot. Okay. Is that true, Matt? Have we, we gotten Boulevard EA heavy? We've had it two or three times. For a drink I've never heard of? No, more than two or three times. Oh, right, well, we'll go uh, through some 15. nerd out there. Go through the records. Mm-hmm. Go through the. Sl- it's, first off, it's, it's a Boulevard EA. I like a cocktail that, a whiskey based cocktail that isn't played out. I, I love yes. oh, It's not played out, for sure. It's kind of an underrated whiskey cocktail. Yeah, like Agreed. I love. Look, I love old fashions. I love Manhattan's, but like everyone drinks those, so it's fun to have a different one in the mix. And I Old agree. Pal is another one we never. Old Pal's a classic that old, we brought what's an back. Old pal? I think I believe it's just dry vermouth. Look it up. It's dry vermouth whiskey and yeah, vermouth yeah. is a good mixer. There it is. What, old what's pal. the uh, what, what's the ingredients? One ounce whiskey, one ounce Campari, one ounce dry vermouth. And the garnish Easy. is a lemon twist. So that's a weird mix right there. Yeah, but simple. Simple. I mean, I was yeah, it's so it's Campari. whiskey and vermouth and that's it? Uh or is there something else. Uh Campari. Campari. Ah, uh, Campari. Huh. It's like a, a Negroni. No, Dude, but those it's, Bert, it's dry vermouth though. Negroni uh, sweet. Okay. Those Bert uh morning drinks with, with something with Campari. Was it Campari spritz at your back? Aperol party? spritz? No, but it was a Campari. That's spritz. right. Well, that, that was, was nice. Good? He made him nice in the morning. Bert did? Yeah. yeah. Damn, Bert is clutch with the Bert is with the clutch. alcoholism. He's, he's fucking clutch. <laughs> he's he's <clutch>. nice. We're <laughs> all hungover, like tired, and it's like coffee. Like, ah, I got a better thing for you guys. Because we did these <laughs> poison <things> we, here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we planned all these weird events in the morning, and you had we were hungover the night before. You get two hours of sleep, so you needed that. Kick like a yeah. Wake Bird me is up. sending me. We were both on tour buses and we were sending each other videos of t- our tour buses because his is like a double deck. Don't get into a fight England. with Bird about tour buses. Yeah. And, but then also he's like, you know, he's like, this is my room where I sleep. I'm like, I'm in a bunk with everyone else, yeah. dude. Yeah. Man, I'm, doing, people. I'm doing the bunk. Yeah, the bunk I sleep nice. better in the bunk. Yeah, really? the bunk is better. The bunk is what? good. Then a bed. In yeah, because you're in the back and it's like bouncy and shit. It's like you're by the and engine. The bunk's not. Oh, right, because that's where it bounces the back seat. Yeah. yeah. But then you get a bunk. You kind of. It's like a. I was gonna say a coffin. It's kind of nice. <laughs> little known. Little known fact about Bert's tour bus. I saw it in Madison. He was parked, and I was like, knocked on the door. It was Thank like you. 11 a.m. Whatever. Nothing. And then I tried the door. It was open. Walked in. Saw somebody. He's like, uh, hi. He's like, oh, hey. And then I walked to the back. <laughs> woke Bert up. So little on tip is if you see Bert's tour bus, it is unlocked. Sure. <laughs> Go say hi. That's true. Go say hi. I can vouch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm taking. Let's wait for Ari to get a sip of this yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Do you have a third one? I do have a third one, but I don't have any glasses. Okay. Do you have a one oh, thing I'll fair. say yeah. about Bert yeah. is he. We did the fully loaded, and he went to bed last. We'd all stay up watching movies and getting drunk and high and all this shit. He would stay up last. You know, show us his dick, whatever. Yeah. Then. He'd be up early, shirtless, doing a slip and slide. He's like the it's Michael Jordan of drinking. He's Mickey like Mantle, Mickey Mantle of drinking. But when you hear, stories, yeah. when you hear Michael, Jordan. Michael Jordan stories, they're like he'd play eighteen holes of golf. Yeah, he'd go to practice, lost fifty thousand dollars on one hand. Yeah, and, went and right he was still into, first like, there. Score forty. Yep. Yeah, he is that guy. And you know, everybody goes. Once he stops, he's gonna die. Once but he stops. He stops. No, he stops and he's fine. I know. Yeah, yeah. I've stopped doubting him. I doubted him too many times. Yeah. Are you going in? Are you doing it? Oh, shit. I'm going to wait. No, wait for me. All right. We're waiting. Here we go. There we go. Much. Thank you for the bedazzled Cheers. glass. Oh, this yeah. is interesting. So it's, in, so it's in the glass I like, but without a cube, I'm curious to see how this plays out. And they've all been up so far. It's good yeah. smell. It reminds me of something. Ooh, that smells good. What does it remind me of? Mm. That is a unique yeah. taste. It's a Grand Marnay's orange liqueur. Or no. Well, I guess it's that. So maybe. this is kind of your own spin on a Manhattan. Yeah. That's different. So it's I'm, different. I'm not big on sweet vermouth, so whenever I make drinks with it, I try to find ways to... Like, Cut it? Yeah. Offset make it? Make it like nicer. Interesting. And she's from Manhattan. It's. I think it's a great <laughs> cocktail. I don't think it's a Manhattan. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dallas. Heidi Klum in the house. I would not say it's a Manhattan. That's a totally different drink. I think it's very good, though. 
I think it's called a Harlem. <laughs> yeah, which is like it's Manhattan, te- technically but Manhattan. Exactly. Yeah. Technically, yeah. but, but no this is on 103rd yeah. Street right yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Up on 103rd Street. Yeah, it is good, but I would agree. It's not a Manhattan. But I, I really genuinely like it. Yeah, it's really so I like it too. I yeah, would name so that is, something else. This is how we make our cocktails at my bar, or Manhattan's at my bar. Like, that's our standard. Mm, where's Manhattan your bar? In, uh, in Tribeca. It's called Macau. Macau. So it's like Macau. a Chinese theme. Yeah. So maybe that's why? Um, yeah, actually, maybe. Yeah. Because they do that everything wrong? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 All right. Wow. All right. That was, I'm, I'm, it's going to be hard not to drink all this. I shit. know. Yeah, that's I a, know. That's I got part. shit to do tonight. Yeah, Same. That's hard to shoot the show in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it really is. I have people hitting us up like, can I come on next week? I'm only in town. And I'm like. It's how much diarrhea can I handle in one week? Yeah. To drinking, because it's not like we don't drink off the podcast. Right, right. 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 That's not the only time you drink. No. Yeah. Jay wants to get a bowling league going for comedians, but I'm like, where would you do it? It'd have to be Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, we're busy. It doesn't matter. It would either be 5 p.m. before spots or like 11 p.m. after spots and then continue. And the problem is, this is going to sound elitist. Yeah. But- as, as a new comic, you can do all that shit. But now we're on the road. We're doing eight That's pods. Why Monday, we're, we're scheduled. That's why yeah, but that shit never works. I mean, it we. I works. feel like we always try to do it, and it never works. But they used to have comedian softball leagues. Softball leagues. I know, but who, but who was who was playing in that? Was Colin Quinn in those? Yeah, and David Letterman was in a basketball league in L.A. Seinfeld really, was in softball. Wow. Yeah. But you had more time. You'd have to post clips. You'd have to edit, caption, podcast, all that we shit. We got a lot of Spoken shit. Spoken from a guy also- who's never done any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> on a podcast right now. <laughs> yeah, Ari, you're on every fucking podcast. What are you talking about? But I don't caption shit. But you I have a either. guy doing it. Yeah, right. There you yeah, go. Yeah, we don't have to do it. We're right. busy bowling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like bowling. Bowling's anymore. hard. It's hard. I'm so bad at it that I can't enjoy it. But let's just be right. drunk and do it. Let's just be drunk, go bowling. Steal it's, some shoes. But it's all gutter. Yeah, sure. All right. That's where our minds are anyway. Yeah. <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> That's actually a good name for a bowling alley. Your minds. Your minds. Anything yeah, gutter. Yeah, hey, yeah, stay yeah. in your lane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, okay. I'm not a big... <laughs> but I can, I can enjoy... Sh- I'm bad at ping pong, and I enjoy ping pong. I love yeah. ping pong. But I'm not good cares? at... I'm bad at pool. I enjoy pool. I don't really like bowling. You know what it is? Bowling's a big to do. The it's shoes, the waiting and it's for like, the oh, ball. Here's your turn. Never has to go. Oh, yes. good. Ping if pong. you miss a, bo- a, a, a pool shot, even pros miss. No it's, big that's deal. That's not a big deal. And you're I not miss. walking around. You're, it's all right there. Bowling, you're moving. You're holding a heavy ball. You're throwing it. It's loud. There's other people there. Maybe you are Jewish. <laughs> okay, I've been accepted. <laughs> Finally, you guys we'll try to do this out. instead of this. Uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, I love b- watching bowling. Like, I love watching a great really? bowler. Well, no, not like really what, but like watching a guy who's great at it. Uh, it is kind of yeah. beautiful. The, the way they great. put the spin on Tommy it. Tommy Dulutz. Yeah, a, you know him. I've heard of him. He was I a fucking. He was a fan. He was a. He was ranked like fifth in the in the world in bowling one year. Whoa. He went thirty two grand that year. He's How on cool next week. That? <laughs> that is cool to be that good at something. I went to see him once. I'm in a meme oh that guy's that guy, who, <laughs> who do you think you are i love this look, <laughs> I mean, at, the look at that the way they put the spin, the and, spin. and listen to this listen uh, i just think of ernie mccracken <laughs> every time it's so funny that oh, these guys on, get laid of course they do They're great. <laughs> who do you think you are i am <laughs> the Steph, margin you, for would error you, is this what? would you bang this guy if he absolutely not oh, 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 really can no, you find the meme no. i'm in bowling <laughs> meme are you meme yeah bowling meme yeah I was at uh, I was watching Tommy Deluts at a fucking bowling event and somebody put up <laughs> a sign behind me. Uh, Nothing to do with me. It was, they just played. There yep, you are. There it is. Wait Whoa. a minute. Look at the look at the sign. What a great sign. Uh, Holy shit. There's me with hair and glasses. Wow. But look at that sign in the back. Defense. I gotta say, you look way better now. It's bowling. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you really do. This is like incel, Ari. Yeah, a little more rabbit. <laughs> this is crazy. Definitely. Wasn't getting laid much for sure. You, you can see the Yeshiva University. You've aged very well. Yeah, thanks. You're, you're yeah. a handsome guy. Yeah. Well, the hat helps. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, do you have any pet peeves? In what's, what's that? Just in life, like little things that annoy you. Oh my god! Hate. Like slow walkers. Um, mm, classic. There's a big one here. Uh, what else? Um, people who like sing or hum loudly like Ooh, when doing anything. Good one. Um, it's not bad. Uh, you know what's tough is the loud yawner. 
Yes. Oh my yes. god. That's another we get one. it. We're all bored. <laughs> You're at my show. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, we do a, a round of paper planes? Yeah, are we ready? I think yeah. Ready, I mean, yeah, we can't yeah, finish we all of these. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I just know. do one. Maybe just do one because I mean, oh, we're that's not bad. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, good sure. call. We're wasting good so call. much liquor here. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad call. But short uh, drinks. We can give the rest of them to. <laughs> give it to the homeless. <laughs> yeah, dude, you ever have like a nice drink? <laughs> just and, hand them out and you leave a, and you leave a club and you're like, "Hey, do you want some scotch?" Yes. And they're like, "Yes, of course." Are you kidding me? I drank yeah. everything off the bar when I was coming up. That's a great dude, charity. Up, you were you <laughs> had drinks for hobos. Yeah. Mark Norman literally owned his own apartment and he was still eating chicken wings off plates going towards the kitchen. There's something about it when it's not yours. It's more fun. It is more it's like fun. a guy's wife. Yeah, it's, it's true. Oh, it's forbidden. Oh, oh. You're a food cook. Yes. <laughs> yes. Food. <laughs> Cuck. Yeah. Somebody get that domain name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean though. It's something exciting like uh, uh there's something, something we could do something with this booze for hobos. Oh yeah. yeah. This is a charity. Cuz dude, dude, uh, that's a that's a we great might to be drunk exclusive. It's great to book big name acts on a show like this cuz no one ever asks. Mm-hmm. We're just like it's a charity gig. And we're like, "Oh cool. And like what's this for?" Uh, uh, we get the homeless intoxicated. Dude, you get a bartender, <laughs> Steffi Anybody. Yeah. We go down there with a little makeshift like traveling bar and we make an actual drink for all the fucking heroin acts at Tompkins or the for the Washington Square Park fucking drug addicts. I love it. Dude, it be sponsored it's dicey too. now though. Have they, well, the they would love it. They legalize drugs in Portland. Why not we they we would, make free that booze? That would be so cool. They're going to get it anyway. Talk to them. What do you think of this one? What, what's better, the Boulevardier or oh, the fucking paper, air, paper plane? You got hobos going, hmm, well, this one's yes! full-bodied and all that shit. That would Dude, be hilarious. 100%. Let's Sideways, but everyone's homeless? Yes. All right, Because, look, I've had some hobos that turn down my food. I go, hey, I got some Indian food. You want this takeout? They go, oh, what am I, a piece of shit? We go, do have oh, to geez. donate a shitload of money if we do this to the homeless. Homeless oh, charities. Yeah, you can't just do this it. shit. You give them the booze. Well, you, no, you, you got to do. <laughs> if we get lit up enough, you can't just be getting people street. drunk without doing the other shit. Too. All right, all right. All we'll right, we'll get them some. We'll get them some. We'll get them a cracker. Yeah, yeah, DeRosa yeah. sandwiches. There you go. That's a sponsor. Joey Roses. Joey Roses Memorial Sandwiches. All right, this is big. Joe's drunk eating all the sandwiches next to them. I love that sound. Oh, that's oh, a good sound. Yeah. That sound is the opposite of a peeve because you know something good is coming. That yes. sound is a good sound unless you're an open mic comic <laughs> and you're like, yes, shut up. Can I you know. wait? Tell yes. me between comics. That in the blender. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there it is. Now can you see the ch- 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 on it's Fifth like Avenue getting it for the hobo? Now there is something about that. You're right. When you're on stage and you hear it and you're oh. like, oh, yeah, we are a vehicle to move alcohol and nothing else. That's uh, it. Then you hear the blender. You're like, all right, I know what everyone's drinking. It always hits you right when you feel like an artist for a second. You're like, I'm I'm getting pretty (laughs) good at this. And you're you're like, I'm a fucking piece of shit. (laughs) Uh, I got to ask, Steph, do you hate ice? What's going on here? Paper planes and Manhattan. Well, Manhattan's typically you ask. And that was my mistake. I didn't ask oh, you guys if you yeah. wanted it on the rocks or up. No, but that paper makes plane, sense. planes are usually up. It should be in a coupe, but uh, you're right. You should be in one of glasses. these. Yeah. She did say when she served it, she goes, technically, it should be one of these, but these degenerates don't have enough glasses for me. <laughs> you got that right. Sending call glasses. Call us a studio. That's what he's. We said. need more glasses. Right? Restoration hardware. Hit us up. Uh, should we try it? Yeah, well, you start. It smells great. Paper oh, planes it smells are just. great. We've re- I feel like we really are responsible for the rise 100%. in popularity. In homeless We, we did what Pulp Fiction did for John Travolta. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a better paper plane than the other one. Wow. All right. Ooh, man, right. that is good. Is that better than the other? Possibly, yeah. It's did tangy, go- though. Watch out. Your stomach. <laughs> Ooh, that smells uh, fucking uh, uh, very nice. Was the like ice washed heavy? ahead that, of time? Is it well, lemon heavy? It's just the, the <laughs> lemon twist that makes it so okay. lemon heavy. But. Oh, really? How did just you make twist? that? Mm-hmm. That is, is mind boggling. Maybe the best paper oh, plane we've juice. ever seen on this podcast. I'm saying it's good. Trump says it. Beard Jew is going to kill himself with a with a lady boy in Thailand or wherever he is. <laughs> I guess Where what? I hate that? ice too now. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So does the border. Party. That's great. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> so do the immigrants. Kick it back. Right. Kick it back. Thank you. That was, that was that's maybe, I think it's the that's best paper. Great. Plane. Very nice. Can we go dealer's choice now? Yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite? a good name for a drink. Sidecars? You guys fuck with sidecars? No, no, no. Forget what we fuck with. I, I mean, love a sidecar. Like yeah. That's what I like make. Beer All Jew right. ones, I believe it's the Godfrey episode we did sidecars. Is that correct? Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, keep that away from me. So, mm, si- why is sidecar your? That uh, is a good drink. Why is sidecar your specialty? It's, I mean, not my specialty. It's just kind of what I've been enjoying drinking lately. Um, I just, I couldn't come up with a specialty. I don't really have one. I'll just make whatever people want. But I've been really liking these. Can I mm-hmm. tell you about a drink we invented at the comedy store? I got sidetracked with the last guy. So they had a bottle. You know how they had like the liquor, uh, whatever delivery guys would be like, "Hey, we have one free bottle of this just because you guys might want it." You know. Yeah. So they had a, a bottle of. Uh, cherry vodka. Yeah. Ew. Anyway, so we saw it there. We're like, let's make a drink. Cherry vodka with Sprite and grenadine. So it's pretty much a Shirley Temple, mm. but with cherry like vodka. Yeah. Dirty. What does Shirley Temple have in it? Vodka, right? Well, the no. dirty Shirley. Uh, Shirley Temple is just grenadine and. Oh, right, right. Oh, it's shit. I it. gave him a dirty Shirley. So we, it's a dirty Shirley, <laughs> but since we call it with that, we decided to call it, since it's like a grown up Shirley Temple, uh, uh, Temple of Doom. Mm. I like that. Yeah, and we it was good. I tried to make him do it at the stand. He goes, I will not do that. Tastes even better with an Asian kid. <laughs> <laughs> All Star Game. Everybody Come on. Uh, uh, round was worst the, worst Indiana Jones movie, but still good. Easily the worst. Temple of Doom. Well, still Crystal good. Skull. Is that this one with oh, the yeah. with the Kali Ma? But as yes. a kid, I loved that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was huge. Man, Harrison Ford fucking ruled. Harrison Ford ruled, and he didn't even make it until he was like 35. Is no. that true? He was like a Star carpenter. Wars. Star, Wars, Star Wars, he was older. No, but he was in the he was in movies, though. He was in like the conversation and shit, young. Oh, and really? he was in American yeah. Graffiti. Oh, interesting. But he was a hot carpenter in L.A., just like banging all these housewives. He was a fucking wow. hot dude. Yeah. Just if, like Jesus. If Google bitch was here, we could uh, pull up some photos of him. But he's Where the fuck talk, did he go? He's talking to Child Protective Services outside. Yeah, yeah. telling his wife. <laughs> taking no, no, him. He's in school. He's in tutoring right now. <laughs> Is that we had him take one sip? Is that whiskey on your breath? <laughs> Fun fact: Harrison Ford was just reading the scripts. He was a script reader, and oh, they hired wow. him. Wow! Because he was so charming and. Fun. He's like a hot wow. guy. Oh yeah, he that's was... the dream as a script reader. They're like they're gonna see my talent. Pull yes, it it's only happened one time ever. Pull up Harrison Ford as a carpenter, hot young, hot young beefcake. Yeah, I think there's one of him shirtless floating around somewhere. Okay. My and mom he, and he hooked up with him. Carrie Fisher too. Oh, no, really? really? Did he ever? I mean, well, it's it crazy. They really fucked. Mm-hmm. That was how Hollywood worked back then. If you were, oh, like, yeah. if you were like leading, there he is, he's a carpenter. Like a wow, thin. Oh, he's like a hippie, ripped. Yeah, but you realize how much better people's bodies are now. Well, yeah, I, 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 it's a better pretty body pretty than both of us. Maybe yeah, not but you Mark. know, but for leading men. Oh right, you got to be cut. The like fact that. that we're even in the conversation right now is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had to go on roids now. Back then, he's, he everyone's like, on roids. And also, shredded. he's drinking. He's not even like... No, he does look good there. And this is before they knew anything. He was eating white bread and, you know, candy yeah, bars. Yeah, exactly. Eats their steak. It's good for you. Yeah, drinking yeah. beers all day. Yeah, not like us. We're really healthy. I he's heard all he does is smoke good. weed on every shoot. He's like, I'm going to be fucking ripped. And then he made that decision like 20 years ago. Yeah. There, there's a clip. I wonder if you could find it. It's like yeah. him and Josh Hartnett at an award show. And I think he's like fucking wrecked. Really? Harrison Ford. He's either, he's either high as shit or drunk as shit. Something's off. But yeah, I wonder if it exists. There's also there. a clip of him at Comic Con. He went one year for the paycheck, and they're like, Han Solo. He's like, You guys got to grow up. It's a fucking year. <laughs> it's an intervention. Make me sick. I oh, this is it? Years. Uh, is this it? Oh, Stifler. Hold on. Man. Yeah. Oh, here it is. I think he's wrecked. Let's get this going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make the castle run in under 12 parsecs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucas. Right up there. What are you doing? Right there. Don't worry about it. You never understood what I'm doing. Just keep reading. Ah. <laughs> okay, but the beauty is far surpassed by the talent they consistently bring to the screen. <laughs> Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ah, he's doing all his famous lines. <laughs> 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 he's hammered. Is this a gag or is he legitimately annoyed? I don't know. I no. think it's both. I think it's a gag and he's drunk. Yeah. He's pissing off he's Hartnett, like, I'm though. doing the MTV Awards. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's being fun. No, this is planned. Good for Hartnett for playing along. Yeah. This is your part there, I think, there, Captain. <laughs> 
Get off my plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for him. He doesn't want to be there. Dude, get off my plane is one of the all-time dumbest, greatest lines I in movie know. history. What is I that from? Movie. Air Force, Air Force One. One. Oh, With the Russian. The Russian yeah. terrorist. And he's literally the this back when being patriotic was cool. Yeah. Right? When you like you root for the president and he's literally the president is the action star. Can you picture Biden <laughs> or Trump as a dude beating up terrorists? <laughs> That's Literally, right. dude, this last scene, this is it. He's This is iconic. <laughs> I think that's Gary Oldman. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold it for here. That's perfect. Oh, uh, Everybody in the theater was going, oh, shit. <laughs> no, like, let it play. Let it, let it play for a second. Get off my The plan. music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a country. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, he's hanging. What's he hanging from? He broke his neck first and threw him out in a parachute. Oh, first he th- he broke his neck. Yeah. George Bush Sr. was a real uh, hero. Senior. Senior. This yeah. junior was he like, was like an Air ah, Force the junior guy. was a hero to me. Crack. <laughs> fucking okay. draft the border. Yeah. I ruled. In hindsight, history will be kind to that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he fucking ruled. Whenever you start painting, shit's gone horribly wrong Yeah, in your that's life. true. Hitler... Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. No, I think Hitler, he was pre painted. Oh, he yeah. Pre painted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Good boy. It, boded, it boded not well. well but we Jim Carrey's known. a good example. Of yeah, that. he started painting. Steffi's got a new Drake. There's, there's W. Or no, yeah, there's this is the, the original. Uh, George Bush oh, being start, rescued in World War II. Start this way, now, this I'm loving Steffi's drinks right now. God, wow. the presentation. See, that's the woman's touch. Yeah. Yeah. Very oh, nice. You left a nail in here. <laughs> it's a rusty nail. It's been a while since I've had a woman's touch. <laughs> Stephanie, Steffi, yeah. Steffi, Steffi. Steffi. I fucked up. I Take fucked two. Up. Take it again, drunky. Okay. Take it again. Start over and go. She forgave Louie. She can forgive me. <laughs> Phenomenal. Get off my plane. <laughs> Get off my paper plane. <laughs> Nice. This is a paper plant? No, this, this is, is a sidecar. sidecar. Okay. Excellent. If sidecars always tasted like that, I'd drink them more often. Ooh, that's interesting. I like it. Different I want to flavor. try a Manhattan one more. Do I need salt or more... sugar? Sugar. Ooh, interesting. Mm. I want, I'm going to take one more run that's under blow. Manhattan as well, because I think it's the Manhattan what's the proper, very What's the proper way to like lick up a salt or sugar rim? Do you, do you go like that? I usually or you... do like, I'll take a sip and then take a lick. Chaser. Yeah. Same with like a margarita? Yeah. That's my way, though. I don't know the official way. Thoughts? I think if you come back, we don't call this a Manhattan. We call it a Midtown West because that's mm. where we are. Oh. All right. Like yeah. Realtor talk. Uh, <laughs> something off with this. <laughs> oh, Steffi. Uh-oh. What do you think? You don't like it's the side Something's chick? wrong. It's, it tastes like barf. It's like papaya. Barf. There's barf? something reminiscent of barf. Could it be the glass? Could be I the told glass. you it was going to be mean. I told you. Ari, uh, he likes to speak like a Somali. Legitimately, the other drink was one of the like favorite fucking drinks I've puke. ever had in my life. I, there's something in here that I don't like. It's not that it's wrong. It's not agreeing with you. You might just not like sidecars. What are the Maybe that's it. What are the ingredients? Let me try. Uh, sidecar, it's uh, lemon juice, um, orange liqueur, or Grand Marnier, and uh, cognac. Maybe, uh. maybe it's one of those. Let me smell the Grand Marnier. Yeah, you don't I like, like it. I think it's a good drink. Either. This might I think it's it. good too, but it is. It is it does pack a punch. It's well, got it's an interesting sidecar. kick. Might be that. It might be that. It might be that. It reminds me of something from childhood. Some level mm. of like I failed a class and I smelled that at the same time. <laughs> uh. And you were molested. And I was molested. Uh, yeah, it might be related to the molestation. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to bury that, but it keeps popping its head up. You were uh. diddling a sidecar. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It'd be great if I just paused like, no! <laughs> no! This is worth it. Very nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Get her diddled. He perked up. Got to be honest. One of the, that other drink was one of the best drinks I've ever had. The paper? The paper. The, the paper Get plane. my paper plane. Yeah. <laughs> That was his. <laughs> Sidecar. Well, Steffi, you're just I think you, I, things you don't like now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. No, that's fine. That's part of it. It wasn't Steffi, like it's rotten. Uh, it's just like uh, it's not my taste. I think he killed it. I think this Steffi is killed it Thank for you. sure. Very nice. Okay. All right. Well, do you like where New York's headed? Do you feel like it's different now? It's definitely different. I'm ready to leave. Oh, where are you moving? Where are you going? Um, I am not sure yet. I what's on the list? I have a lot of friends in Colorado who are trying to get me out there. Colorado's but great. I don't like the cold. 
Um, I like the Arizona sunsets, but I feel like there's not much to do. It's 15 True. January, right? Uh, now. This is incredible. Denver out. sunsets yeah. are pretty epic. Denver but, sunsets? But you don't like the cold. So cold. But New York's not even that cold right now. I know. No, just but now. Colorado would be way colder. Oh, yeah. So fuck Colorado. So I don't know. Um, uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. And I'm, I'm too broke to Sandog? even make any decisions now, anyway. So. <laughs> How old are you? 27. Oh, uh, you got Diego? all the time in the world. Actually, good maybe. call. Great town. It's Great awesome. Town. I Where? do love San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego, San Diego. Diego is underrated. A lot of it military is. guys. Beefcakes. Oh, yeah. Not really my time. <laughs> guys with That's... huge chests like us. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Sam, is it a burden to be this swole? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you killed us, Steffi. That, that great was job. Awesome. Thank you guys. That I appreciate great. it. Really good. And we have one more bartender, right? Who, who that? And who is that? Who that say they're going to be them saints? Who? Cameron is the third. Ma- male or female? I'm going to guess female, <laughs> but it could be male. Cameron is from... Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Ferris Off. Ferris Bueller. But also Cameron Diaz. Cal oh. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Esposito. Oh. Cam- Cameron Esposito serving us now? <laughs> I think it's Cameron Crow. Oh, we'll yeah. Wow. That does go both ways. Uh, so do I. All right, Steffi. All right, well, it was great yeah. meeting you great guys. Great meeting you. Great, great eyebrows. Yeah. Thank you. Nice Legitimately, you. It, it's not just that I preferred the... the um, Paper plane. That was one of the best drinks I've ever had. Oh, that thank was you so yeah. much. the best Killed one. It. I I don't want to besmirch the name of Beerju, but that's it is the best paper plane we've <laughs> it's had. Pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah he's out. Appreciate yeah. it. He'll die out there anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. Godspeed and praise Allah. Yeah. All right. One more. It's one good. more. So Very what are you guys good. gonna do? Have a regular? I guess have so. a regular well, guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed with both of them. Yeah. Well, the beer juice has gone for months, so we need somebody to fill that time. Yeah, you need somebody. Yeah. He might never come back. DeRosa is a bartender. The more I think about it, it really worries me. Yeah. DeRosa just pouring shot after shot. I mean, by the way, your bachelor party, like the, the, the actual one that you guys were at, we did like a bachelor party episode, and DeRosa just keeps pouring shots. It's crazy. It was no different than the real bachelor party. <laughs> Literally showed up with a bunch of shots. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That was but I was welcoming. sick for like eight days after that. Yeah. I, I think I came in with a cold, but I, I tried to fight through it because it was the bachelor party yeah. episode. And every time he did a shot, I was like, I'm going to be... I was in Phoenix after every set. I collapsed on the couch, violently ill. And the whole time, Gary Veter is just going, we were supposed to go to Pizzeria Bianco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll just be out... The same shit, we'll be out in public. And he goes, you better take me out to a five-star restaurant tonight, bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gary, he's like Sharon Stone best. in Casino. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the like, best. Where's my mink coat? <laughs> What DeRosa does as a bartender, a lot of bartenders have great uh, ideas, new interesting <laughs> interesting takes on drinks, or just do the old drinks quite well. DeRosa does none of those, but adds peer pressure on a level that no bartender that gives you. That is so it's, true. It's sickening. Amazing His peer pressure, peer pressure is sickening. Come on. He's, he's always like, come on, just do this shot. I'm, I think I'm good. Come on. And then 20 minutes later, he's throwing up in a bush. And I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, why was I listening to you? You're right. That's how he gets laid, too. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, Cameron. Cameron. Oh, yeah. nice All right. Guys. Okay. Cameron, Cameron is Flage. a man. Yes. I try. You yeah. brought your own mixer? <laughs> no, nah, this was given to me. Okay. I travel light. Yeah, we, uh, yeah no. DeRosa puking in a bush is, is the best. Is how the night ends, usually. Yep. <laughs> he will be missed Cameron Yes sir Yes you're the, you're the third guy You know the drill You gotta make a paper plane A Manhattan And then your own and, specialty And just make one of the paper planes And okay. one of the Manhattans And we'll, and we'll each take we're, a sip we're a little lit up We're, we're a little yeah. lit up And we have Right now that makes sense on the last But um, also uh, Yes And also just make one of your signature too What's, what's yeah, the point? Yeah so like it's it's those two And then like uh, What's your fave to make Or or are you guys I, You're gonna love this Whatever you wanna make it Yeah and you're great In every Taylor Sheridan show <laughs> <laughs> He looks like somebody Yeah You do You do have rip vibes For sure Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's you're hot a, He's You look amazing. like you can try, re- You can look like you Remake our house I can actually yes. build houses for a living. Whoa! Oh, really? Yeah. Nailed in the it. Hamptons, and then I bartend on the side. Hell Gee, yeah! What a hunk. Bartending like got me through college, but now I just build houses. Wow! Really? You were a carpet manly like, man, dude. That's yeah. The same same task you just took. Yeah. Bartender then spring now, so. And the flannel too really is the icing. Yeah. The Love not a, a Jew right here. Nah, maybe a little Russian. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. No, we're actually rooting for them. 
I'm Ukrainian. Ari, what, what's your 23 and me like ethnic background type situation? It's, it's 97% Ashkenazic Jew and 3% Ashkenazic Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 very high Ashkenazi yeah, as well. Yeah, that, that's our people. We we kind of have the same. What Jew is it? We're what's the legitimately difference? probably Eastern European. related. No more than three generations back. Easily, we, we probably have something going on. Yeah, kind of nice. Let's do it tw- next time I come in. Twenty three and me contest. Similar build, really? both yeah. tall, comic. Yeah. Something's up. Yeah, East little Coast. hairier than should be. Yes. Yeah. Nice, Matt. Matt with those eyes. I have a hint of a uh, like Iranian. I have a hint of it. I think that's the eyebrows, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah I can yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah. But is that Sephardic? What Sephardic is Sephardic is mean? like uh, Egyptian, Egyptian. Arab, Jew. oh, yeah. Yeah. African. Uh, like that's the Iranian. Jews. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the twenty. What is it? uncut gems, Jew? The diamonds, Jews. Yes, the Ethiopians. I don't know. I think they Ethiopians. Ash- yeah, that's that's different. They're Kushi, but like, yeah, Ashkenazi Sandler Jews. is an Ashkenazi Jew. Yeah, most got it. I feel like a lot. I feel like Ashkenazi Jews, mostly like Eastern European type. His real Jews. name is Sandlowitz. Huh? Sandlowitz. No, Adam Sandlowitz. Is that a bit? No. Oh wow! Is it really Adam Sandlowitz? No, not even not. Sandler. Sandlowitz. Well, you know, uh, John Stewart is Leibowitz. Leibowitz. Trump used to get him on that. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, of Leibowitz. Adam. Oh, it's Leibowitz. adorable, man. <laughs> this kid rules. Kid, I, I mean, know. really, thank God for iPads. It's funny when we were kids, it was Game Boys. They were like mm-hmm. this big. Now oh, it's yeah. like this. I had a comic book. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say I had books. Yeah, <laughs> books <laughs> like, too. My math it's like, you know, <laughs> or the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> are we doing Manhattan first? Uh, this is my first uh, specialty cocktail. Oh, made. oh, oh all right. Mix it up. I figured you had the other ones no, so much. Yeah, take some fucking liberties. I like it. I like it. All right. Can we know what it is? This is a Ward Eight. A Ward w- eight. Ward eight. Yes, sir. What is that? This is uh, your Bodega Cat rye whiskey. Uh-huh. Fresh Love that. orange, fleshed lemon, a little bit of maraschino cherry, a dash of bitters, and then I'm gonna have to garnish it with a cup of cherry. Oh. Whoa! I've never heard of this drink. A Ward eight. I've never heard of it. See either. where it was I come from. It in Massachusetts. Oh. The 1898 election. The governor that won actually needed Ward eight to win, and after he won, the bars made this drink. Oh, I love a history. Yeah, Joe List drank this until seven years ago. Well, we have wards in New Orleans, but we call it the eighth ward or the seventh ward, not ward eight. <laughs> With his wife, it's called the last word. Am I right? <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> All right. Let's see what this is made Real of. Real maraschino cherry. Oh, it's so pink. Yeah. Just like my ex. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're at the point where we start bombing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's bombed. really the... Thank you, Ward. Oh, All right, start us off, man. Let's hold it All up first right. for the viewing public. It looks beautiful. Yeah. It does look beautiful. Is there a, a tip to like how thin to slice these orange slices? I like to do like an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch. Dude, I'm in the exact same way. Anything more, and it feels like you're <laughs> eating oranges, and it's not a garnish. Interesting. And it just becomes a fruit salad. But sometimes it is fun to like when you're drunk to be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this orange. Yeah. Yeah, for slice. sure. Yeah. And I'll eat the whole thing. I'll, I'll eat the rind and everything. Yeah. What do you think there, Nose? Smells good. I mean, you can smell a pizza shop <laughs> on 6th <laughs> Avenue. But, uh, <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> you should have been Don't like, make him laugh. He's going to backwash. Right. We have to do the three. I'm third here. I right, was like, this guy's half gay. Uh, yeah. This was an orgy. I'm the last dick in. Come on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Pet cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Oh, orange drop. Eighth mm. ward. Eighth ward. So what's the verdict, fellas? Solid shot. Solid. Very good. Dry. Not too sweet, which I like. Not too sweet. Yeah, if you use which fresh orange juice, that? I think it helps out a little bit. Love fresh the smell. Juice, I juice. like this better. Than what? Than a fresh orange juice. Orange has so much sugar in it, I think. Wow, this is interesting. That is interesting. So Wait, I might start it's, ordering. It's, so it's, it's a it's bit just, dry. What? Tell me. Uh, two ounces of rye whiskey, then well, a half go. ounce of fresh orange, fresh lime, a tablespoon of uh, maraschino cherry juice, two dashes of bitters, and then you shake it up over rocks. This is. You would excellent. think the maraschino Thank cherry you. juice would have made it super sweet. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. A just dash. Two little bit of Very wow, nice. This is a really good drink. Great yeah, drink. Holy oh, shit! I love eighth when it's eighth ward. Eighth yep. ward. You ward have eight. an eighth ward. Ward eight. Ward eight. Ward eight. Look, on the special cocktail, eight ward. Yeah. the last round, the sidecar was a classic that Ari did not like. 
This and the first guest bartender, Shane, were both ori- – like, that was an original. Yeah, the witching hour. And this is one we've never tried, so mm. it's, it's new to us. I never love the new ones. Never even heard So of in it. the original category, we have to decide how much weight to put on that, but this is a fucking – that's a banger. That's a, That's banger. a banger. Yeah. Okay, it's a good yeah. drink. Witching Hour is good, too. Appreciate Witching Hour is phenomenal. Also, I, I would order that at a bar. Would you? Yeah, I don't like the pink. I would order that at a bar and they'd know it? 100% I would order that. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It maybe in mass. On, like, what kind of bar you're going to. Do you know how to make a Godfather? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's so you weird. That's your favorite drink. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's, it's so it's kind of hilarious. But it's also like you go into a bar, like you make a Godfather. Like I've, most bars have never heard of it. Yeah, it's much better than the Godfather Three. <laughs> but then when someone has Godfather Two, like yeah. that first bartender, you're yeah. like, interesting. Damn, that is so, solid. It's so a that's solid a drink. good drink. But what is your favorite Mitch Hedberg joke? Oh Jesus! My favorite Hedberg joke. The one I say the most is, "I used to be an alcoholic." I still am. So, or I used to do too. drugs. I still do. But, but I, I used, used to, too. Yeah. That's a That's great joke. brilliant joke. You know, you know what my best? favorite Hedberg joke is? You can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people were at, at my, my show. show. <laughs> yeah. I saw him do that live. This really? Comedy, really? Comedy store. Whoa. Favorite yeah. Hedberg joke? Uh, uh, some guys passing out flyers. They're pretty much saying, here, you throw this out for me. That's a great joke. Classic. Great joke. Mark? Uh, hold on, I'm on the spot here. The Dufresne uh, is a uh, great uh, one. Escalators, the only things that when they break, they still work. They just become stairs. Yeah. How about the one about the reservations at the at the restaurant? Oh, yeah. the well, what happened to, to the, the Dufresne? To the Dufresne, yeah, that was a great <laughs> They're one. in someone's trunk right now, but no one seems to give a uh, fuck. I got mine. I'm against picketing, but I don't know how to show it. Wow, that's a good one. Come on, that's, that's like, like a Groucho Marx. Yeah. yeah. That's a banger. Stephen Wright, I think, is the 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 ultimate one liner. I think it's all they're he almost all like originated it. Yeah. Well, Henny Youngman maybe. No, he didn't originate it, he but he, it he had his own style for yeah, sure. Yeah, There's yeah. no one. dry like that. Yeah. So I had a friend, Andrew. Mm, I forget. He was in the um, Hong Kong comedy scene, and mm. those guys would go around Southeast Asia or Asia in general. And he went to the Seoul. He went to Seoul with a couple of comics. They flew him out there, and they had never seen a one liner comic before. Mm. And then they saw him do that, just like Stephen Wright style. And they go, dude, you just changed the game. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they just never seen you it. changed the game. Yeah. Wow. And he had the thing down where he looked weird and he would go on stage and go, feeling kind of hyper. So he knew his voice. He knew his He's, voice. He yeah. knew the shit, yeah. which made it even oh, better. Oh, dude, I love I went to a diner who said, eat breakfast anytime. So I ordered French toast during the Renaissance. Come on. That's a fucking incredible Who is joke. that? Stephen Wright. Stephen Wright? Wow. I got to get into him. I oh, dude, I have a pony. <laughs> get Listen to that album. Great is he album. still alive? Yeah, he tours. So, all right, all right, get him in here. You start He's not one. great on pots. <laughs> you started the, wait, I started the last one. All right, well, I'll start this one. Then we'll, we'll move. We'll what move is that one? You have it? The Old Fashioned Manhattan. Oh, oh you just the two? Manhattan? I thought I was Old Fashioned's fine. I mean, all right, my bad. Same, same, same family. <laughs> I mean, if they were cousins, they, they couldn't really fuck, but. Not cousins. They turn states. Come to Louisiana. Oh, good. Wait what? a minute! You guys, you made those quick. Yeah, man, you're man. You're, you're on the move. That's I like not bad. It. That's not a bad uh, detail the, for a person. The smell of this shit is excellent. Nailed it. Smell matters. Mm. It's a good old fashioned. Here, here. Ooh, that's oh, that's good. Oh, you take a sip. That's well, good. What is that one? That's the uh, paper plane. That's good. It's a good old fashioned. I think I might oh, just like paper good. planes. Paper planes are good drinks. That's a damn uh, good paper plane. Better than the last one? A little more kick than the last one. But this one has ice. That one didn't. Fuck, oh, that's excellent. It tastes weirdly different. Yeah, it does. What, did you go heavy on any ingredient here? No, just equal parts. Equal parts. Man, equal parts. Excellent. Ooh. Man, we got some good bartenders. That's this is dry. A, this is it old-fashioned? Yeah. That mm. is dry. Yeah, that I, like, I don't ex. like my old-fashioned sweet. I like just like a... I don't like them sweet, sweet either. To make them stop burning so much, but not enough that you're like, oh, this is... Ooh, Ooh, that goes down. I easy. want him to hurt me like a woman. <laughs> I don't. Want, I want him to deceive me. You should Damn, know play games. Whiskey. Yeah, I, I do like declare it. this is one of the finest old fashions. Same this guy makes a man's before. drink. You make a man's <laughs> cock <laughs> tail. Nice. Now we got. I got a decent buzz from all this. Yeah, me oh, too. Oh yeah, good buzz. That's nice. I think I might just like paper planes. It's truly both of those. That's different than Steffi's. Yeah. But both That's really excellent. quite good. Very good. Kid, you want to try it? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we got some Coke, too. 
right. Does he want Coke? Is it surprising that Mark, Ari, and I are not fathers? <laughs> <laughs> I got some kids in heaven. Yeah, mine were Would you away. know my name? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny um, scene in a movie, like, the 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 courtroom the mom and the the dad is trying to keep the kid well he brought him to a drinking podcast all right that's it yep, yep. <laughs> give him we, the mom Mark and I come in drunk I'm like we're ready to testify <laughs> Salakies for Salakies uh, yeah. I love to testify drunk that's one of the all time he's in a Hawaiian shirt for some yeah. reason in the courtroom <laughs> I run I run the place uh, <laughs> I'm Google bitch I don't know if you know that it's a technical him. term he's in a Hawaiian shirt he carries a knife. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a knife on him. Oh my god! Yeah, you, you were in a Hawaiian shirt and you rock a knife. That is hilarious. That you're like you are a good father. Yeah, these I think are stiffer. I'm, I'm oh, protector. You're yeah. protector. You're protector. These are stiffer than uh, Steffi. Yeah, these are, those. Are but stiffer. I was stiffer with Steffi. Oh. So, <laughs> so. Yeah. clip it. I was fucking clip it. solid wordplay. Steffi's not gonna like it. That's a, a Sam Morrill level wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that Steffi is from New York and is like, I'm done with New York. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, New York. I was born in the Hamptons. Lived out like- here for a couple years and now I'm back out there for now. But nice. I'm back out here. How do you like the city? I love the city. What's What's your favorite part? Astoria. Whoa! I will you- say, Steffi, I I loved her. She city, lost a couple here. points by saying she was leaving New York. Well, I, yeah. I, well, I was like, "How are you going to be a full time?" Exactly. Well, gone. not that ev- not that everyone has to stay here, but it does. It just makes my heart sink a little bit when people. The whole New York is dead vibe. It, it hurts me a little. It's bit. not New York is dead, but if you were I'm born over, here, yeah, this is gonna. Uh-oh. This is a bad comment because you were born here. Mm-hmm. So is he. At some point, you got to get out. But maybe I'm. I mean, I'm talking to a guy who's like has no intention of leaving. No. Born here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out like the old man in Shawshank. I leave for a fucking day. I'm, I go to Pennsylvania. I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> it is a great city. Underrated. I can go for like a couple of days, but like too long. I, I'm on the road every week anyway, so I kind of get my, my break from New York. The reports of New York's demise are greatly exaggerated. I Aren't agree. You? It's an amazing city. You're like, well, it's not well over late. It's like, oh, oh, so only every place is open until 10? Hey, go to Kansas City. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. Huh? You can still nothing's find, no. open. Everything closes at six oh, p.m. Oh, right, right. Well, and that's also, it's thing. really just like Mondays, like Mondays that New York is now, exactly. Like, like weekends is open. I was with Ryan Hamilton last night, and he was like, "Let's go to this restaurant. Let's go to this restaurant." And it was a Monday, so he was, you know, he was like, "Ah, oh, these are all closed." I said, "Yeah, but if, if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, we'd be fine." It's a little bit yeah. farther back than it was, but it's still New York. It'll level. be back. It'll, It'll be, be bad. Back. It's not what it was. We went to what's that? Faux Hop, yeah, Woh Hop, yeah, closed. closed. It was no. closed at like ten thirty. Woh Hop's always open. That was twenty four hours the back Express, in the day. The fucking uh, French diner and, and the the awnings say twenty four hours, and I got there like ah, nine forty five. We're closed. Nine forty five. Veselka's midnight now, and that was an all nighter too. And that was like a classic. That was all-nighter. a classic all nighter. You're that that hurt. You gotta get East, back. East if Village. you're known as an all nighter, you gotta get back. You got start that right. with two a.m. and then you'll get there. Start at two. Because. Then you'll be the only spot that is open that late, and people they'll be like, "Break oh, it shit. in." They came back, but you'll- nobody wants to work. Nah, summer will work. All that right. night shift has got to be pretty rough. Yeah, man. that diner I'll night work. shift. That's tough. You'll work drunks. there, Ari. There's certain things. So we were talking to Liz about <laughs> this uh, is about a show. the seller. Ari about, as, a, as a waiter at the night shift about the seller t- uh, short brunch. shorts, <laughs> and she goes, "We're not doing the brunch anymore because uh, the cooks don't want to go." And me and Mike Cannon were like, "We'll do it. Let's make omelets." Yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna tank the business. Why? One guy's gonna go. Is, is this jizz? <laughs> my omelet? You get what you get. That's what we decided. <laughs> you you order model. one Aryan Cannon meal, and that's what you get. You get whatever mushrooms. we make. Sure. You get I mean, psilocybin. Sure. Omelet. One out. Of, let's say three meals there will be dosed. Also, like just do like <laughs> bagels and locks. Just make it easy. Just, make it easy. No, there you no, go. No. Let's have fun. All right. Okay, have fun, but have an option where it's have not op- fun. No fun. A no fun option. I want a no fun option. I'd like to order one no fun, please. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really not doing the brunch at the cellar? Yeah. That but me and Ken will do it. See, nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. They were pissed I didn't show up one day. SD was like, you're coming, right? And I was like, For I, got, I got a thing. I had a thing at the time. It was like too, you know. Hungover. <laughs> I was puking. <laughs> I saw Chappelle there once, and I was like, at the uh, brunch. At the brunch, he showed up. Free, you know, free bagels or free bagels. Doesn't or was he still on from got. the night before? Maybe <laughs> to a nine hours. We, I saw their show, uh, Chappelle and Rock. 
How was it? I mean, great. I mean, I didn't catch all of Chappelle because I was exhausted. We, we were on, we had been on the road like five nights and we were in St. Louis and Rock was in our, uh, did I tell this story last week? Yeah. Okay, sorry. But it's, it's a cool story. Totally yeah. After. Well, but all that, I mean, long story short, we got to watch a great fucking show. I mean, Rock's new album. See my buddy, like, Ingram? Yeah, he was great. His kills. He was, uh, he had to stretch. Yeah. He was the best one at the comedy store for about a five year period. Mm. Like, literally, if you ask any employee who watches every night, who's the best one? They're like, Rick Ingram. Why does he put something out? He's about to tape a special. Oh, right. Has Rick. he ever put out a special? He was a crowd work guy for a long time, and nobody was like, oh, we're going to do that. And so, you know, the industry is like, can you figure it out in the industry? Right, but, right. Uh, but but being YouTube. doing it the way he I mean he was doing crowd work in an arena in a way that was so unique and mm. and to figure that out in a big venue like I like to do crowd work in big venues just to mix up an hour just so I'm not doing but joke, that's joke, what he, joke, like, joke. he gets all his bits through crowd work yeah Rock saw him and he was like Ooh. and then wow. he saw him again and he was like and then he went up to him this is the story anyway he goes hey dude you because Rick and I got past the comedy show the same day wow that's cool but then like he couldn't get anything in the business yeah. Um, and this hideous. is store. We're we're a failure place. Yeah, yeah. And he's hideous. <laughs> and um, and Rock, it was like eventually Rock, we're trying to lift someone up here. What the, the hell? Second, what the hell? Oh, he's still a comic. We can't blow him too much. Uh, after the second or third time he saw him, he goes, "Do you always kill this well?" And Rick's like, "Yeah, I, I don't know. Yes." Anyway, <laughs> see you, Chris Rock. Funny, <laughs> yeah, funny answer. Yeah, I do well. No, I'm I a know. bitch. What Nobody you, cares yeah. about me. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. It's a fluke. Yeah, and then eventually he was like, I want you to go on the road for me. It's like, all right. Wow. That's a nice And then he tab. goes, you got to wear a suit. He goes, oh, that's good. You got to wear a issue. suit? Why do you, you got to be in a suit? Because I don't have a suit. And then he goes, we're going to get you a was suit. Was he in a suit when you saw yeah. him? Yeah. Oh, they got go. him a suit. And you know what was great about what he did was uh, Chappelle was late. Because his jet was like not taken off or whatever, so it's just hilarious. That he cuts it that fucking close. Yeah, yeah right. But, not like, you but uh, it was a brunch. Ingram summer. Ingram uh, is stretching with crowd work, and it was I was like, this is pretty cool to watch because I was with Veter and James because they're not there for that. They're no. not there for Rick Ingram. No, and he went up after Rock doing this shit to stretch, and he's wow. doing well with that. So wow, I was like, this is pretty damn impressive. And we kind of were looking at each other, and I and I said to James, you know. Who does the row with me a lot? Directed my last special. It's directed Mark's special, James Ingram. Webb. And James, Kansas City fan. I said, "This is fucking hard." Go what Chiefs. he's doing right here? He's doing. He is stretching in between Rock and Chappelle with crowd work in an arena, and no yeah. one's heard of him. No one's heard no. of him, and he's killing. He's killing. What does and he do? Does he go, "Hey, look at this guy," and they put on the no, jump? Yeah, no, on no, the no, jump. He's higher level than that. No, but it was like, wow. but it was like, but of course, it starts surface. That's how you have to start. You yeah. start surface, and then you kind of ask questions and play off that. But yeah, putting the guy on the screen—that's huge. It's that fun. I mean, because if you're doing if you're doing it at a club, everyone can go, "Oh, who's that?" And they can look and they can see him. If, right. if we're at the comedy store, 160 seater, you can look over like I can yeah, see that yeah, guy. Yeah, and in an arena, you can't. So putting him on screen equals it out. Right. Yeah, Ingram kills, dude. Well, good for him. It's good that he gets some shine finally. Yeah. They're killing at the store for years. Yeah, I got to respect people who pay their dues and kill in the clubs. And, and then are, it's beautiful when you're just ready for that. And then Rock's like, who the fuck is this? It's like some guy has been crushing. I love that. Apparently, too, he's uh, so bitter. He's been so bitter for a long time in a good way. He's like, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Were you like, were you like, yeah, we don't say that out loud, but we all agree, you know? And so he would like tell, I don't know, Rock, whoever's like, hey, that joke's not good. That people have been doing. Oh, that. he keeps it he goes, honest. Who the fuck are you? He goes, all right, we'll do whatever. And then after he gets off, he goes, "I told you, dude, that joke." Ah. <laughs> because he's not trying to kiss up. Like everything was great. Here's right. maybe one tagline. He's like, "That's bad. That's bad." And then Chris Rock, I heard, was like, "Oh, finally, I got a guy who's uh, honest with me." Ah, interesting. Well, and I mean, he's like, thank you. Weird question. Are you and Rock cool yet? I mean, I'm, I've never been friends with them, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you made up. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, Jesus All right. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Well, his new hour's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd love to have you on, Chris, without Ari. <laughs> he's, he's not a fan of mine. <laughs> we have a special gu- for the Chris Rock app. We have a special guest judge for this app. Uh, <laughs> Ari comes in in a cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah. But you got to love yeah. a guy who sees someone killing and uses yeah. him. Yeah. No, Rock, is, Rock is a fucking legend. And legend. It, of all the celebrities, the ever. he's one of the few. Burr, Rock, Chappelle. There's some guys who are like, oh, I'm just always going to be a stand-up. And other guys are like, well, I'm an actor now. I'll still try it once in a while. People ask me about 
hear anybody and it's like, oh no, that, that's a real stand up. Yeah. And I was talking to him at one point. I was like, man, it's just hard. All these fucking podcasts and all this radio and all this press and all these other stuff to keep writing jokes. And like, I'm going to do it. I do it. But it's like, man, it, it takes a lot out of you. And he kind of looked at me and goes, what else is there? Mm. And, the, and when Rock says that shit to what you. What else is like, there besides what? Stand up. Wait, what, but the, the other thing is what you were saying. No, but I'm saying it's hard to write stand up. Oh, when you have this When you stuff. have so much other shit because yeah. you're just creatively zapped like this right. shit does take it out of you all the other stuff does take it out of you and rock is saying what else that's is there? the main thing and that's jerry's yeah. uh you know that's how jerry looks at it that's how like the great that's I the main thing the, the legends look at it yeah. you know where it all comes back even if this. they didn't have the success they had elsewhere they would be stand-ups they would be obsessed with jokes yep. and they would be waking up every day and writing and it's a reminder that like you know, even if it's not like the hip thing content wise to always be writing new stand up, it is the most important fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, we're stand ups at the end of the day. We do pods, we do other things, we interviews, videos, clips, but it's all about the stand-up. problem is if you're doing a movie, it's like these are someone else's words, I don't care. I'll just try to do it as funny as possible. If you're doing podcasts, like I'm wasting my funny time. A little. My, my, my own funny time. But it's I, a I, catch 78 because you want to you want to get them to come see your stand up. So it's a good so way to get funny. them out. But, yeah. but, the, but there is it's a, a little balance different. and at a certain point Definitely. you got it. You but gotta. it's also like that's what a lot of people do wrong where it's like I've got these clips. I've got, I've got podcasts. Like all right. But dude, you're forgetting stand up. Yeah, your act. I see a lot suffering. of guys like that. Your act is suffering. Don't forget stand up. Of course. Go up five nights a week. But three times a night. Stand up is so hard. And they go, yeah. this is easy, though. I can talk or I can make a video and clip it yeah, out or edit it. I can it. just like, talk about a, a, a current event. Yeah, and yeah. Like, okay, great. As a bonus. Exactly. But like, this but you is need just promo act. shit. Dude. You need an, an act, act, but an act is hard. And the problem is a lot of these guys get paid a lot for their podcast. Ah. So they're like, well, that's my focus now. It's like, oh, yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You became a podcast guy, which is fine. Yeah. It's a great living and it's cool and it, you can be still be funny. But you're but no longer one of us. It is. At it's, the end of the day, or like, or like you're not doing a service. Like you're still one of us, but like you're not giving enough time to this. Exactly. Nice. Thank you. That's something I can't do. I like, the, I like that we're talking about the purity of stand-up and Mark's like, hold on, let me, let me fart. Oh, all right, there, I just shit myself. All right. He just took a note. I like that. That's where my career's gone. Hold on, he yeah. farted. Hold on, okay. <laughs> I, was just, that. I would so call your, that a squeaker. Who are your like, all-time favorite stand-ups? Like, back in the day, like OGs? Like, who do you like? Please say, I don't care for stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> he likes I love Yeah, I love stand-up. But uh, the first comedian I ever got into was Brian Regan. Yeah. Greatest. Then Nick Swartzen was like, my oh, I love Swarty. Nick is a fucking uh, great comic. Yeah. Jew is amazing. Jew. I mean, hands down, amazing, dude. My grandmother wouldn't watch it with me, but I tried to put it on with her. Because you died in the happening. Holocaust? <laughs> no, but I'm not a fan. Old Nazi. Um, and of, I love, of Jews? I love wait, wait, wait. She wouldn't even start it? Christchurch and Segura, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fat, no fat. You guys are great. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. We, we were going for present company excluded here. Yeah, but, uh, present company excluded. I can I tell you a Regan all story? All time is Regan. I quote a ton on. Yeah, he's Denver, one of the funniest guys. Quote. Regan story? Me Please. and DeVito. I'm, I'm, I'm ramping up for my special. Danny? DeVito, Danny DeVito. All right. Opening for me in Kansas City. You get a call from, I think, Zimmerman? Joe? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, hey. Uh, Brian no, Regan wants to come. It was George. Brian Regan wants to come to your show tonight. He's got an early show. He wants to come to your late show, yeah. which has been a dream for so fucking long. I've yeah. heard these stories, and I'm like, how come I never get this? And he's like, oh, hey, I'd love to show up. Says hi before. He goes, oh, I'll just sit in the back and watch. That's what he. I've always heard that story. He sits and watches the whole thing. He goes, do you want to have some drinks after? And I'm like, okay. Now I was sober at the time because I'm like, I'm trying to focus on the special, I'm not drinking. DeVito at the same time was also sober. Mm. I'm not drinking right now. You've all been sober. We're like, I'm yeah. taking for the month. You not, you have. I'm taking a month off. Okay. You've not done that? A month? Uh, whatever, a week off, whatever. Like pregnant? Anyway, we were both sober. And then, but but fucking Brian Regan, legend Regan wants to drink. And was, I was DeVito, I was like, what do you want to do? He goes, I, th I think we should drink. I'm like, yeah, I think no we shit. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't sober October yeah. though, was it? It was not. Thank God. And we had just a few drinks, and it was so fucking cool to hang out with this fucking dude. He's the coolest. Who we both are like, your stand up is on such another level. It never gets the respect. He does get the respect. He's Some, been a but not for how many years. No, he doesn't get labeled in the the Mount Rushmore is a lot. Yeah, he's a, he's he should a though. He he's should. One, one of the greats. Great. He's supposed to be on this twice, but he had, I think, a health thing. We got him right. Get him tequila. Oh, shit. He's still on the he's, fence. Uh, he came to my show with the Irvine Improv once. And How cool story. is it? It was pretty surreal. And uh, 
he's an incredible guy. That's great the thing. guy. Uh, beyond being a, a great, great stand-up. Head pop down when he gets that, like, yeah. he's so, yeah, yeah. And he's how many so people cool. stole that, by the way? Yep. Not he, stole it, but do it. Do it. He's a he's a really classy dude on top of being one of the greats. I mean, it's like yeah. Brian Great Regan, egg. man. I've told the story a million times. I'm bombing at the Charlotte Comedy Zone. There's 28 people there. It's a big room. And one guy in the back is going, ah! I was like, well, at least I'm working with that guy. Whatever. It's him. No. Yeah. And he was like, no! I, did the, I did the CPAC or whatever the fuck across the street. And I said, and I he was... walked over. He's like, oh, no, it's Dennis. It's Dennis Regan. <laughs> <laughs> also very funny, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also funny very guy. good. His brother, Dennis Regan. Talking about a shadow. Guy. But yeah, then we ended up drinking all night. Oh. And he is off yeah. stage. He is not clean, which was also fun. Oh, God. That like guy's most comics. Rules. No, he's a, he's a really cool dude. Good egg. Another thing happened. His agent hit me up and said, hey, can you open for Regan? His his opener dropped out. And I said, sure. He goes, just send me a video. And I was like, oh, my God. So I sent him a Conan because I wanted to send a clean clip. And it was a good clip. But he goes, whoa, what are you, crazy? We can't use it. It's like gay <laughs> jokes and sex jokes. But it was clean. But you can't even have the the subject Illusion matter. Well, Conan's thing. clean for us. Yeah, exactly. It ain't clean for that crowd. So it's... he fired me. The agent. He just didn't hurt, and yeah. then a week later, he called me himself and was like, hey, man, I'm sorry about that. I, that was None of that was my idea. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. That was a bad way to handle it. And I was like, oh, my God. He just Good God. Made he amends. knows what it's like to be a comic. Yeah. He sent me a message during COVID. I guess he was, he's like an OG where he was like. And he, he said, you're spreading this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got off the road. <laughs> well, he said it was like, I was like, I think he listened to like one of my albums on like wow. Raw Dog or some shit. Whoa. And I was like, man, I was like laughing. I was like, oh, during COVID when you're like down here, you're like, it's Brian fucking Regan. Of course. Wow. Can you imagine being the other way? We're writing some guy. I heard somebody in Raw Dog. I'm like, hey, man, I, I'm a big fan. That was like, really funny. And like, okay, random dude. I'm yeah. Like, no, no, I'm a comic. Right, <laughs> like, right. Oh. I know. And he has stories of legendary bombs, which is so. Like, he did it on my uh, show. He did a story about a bombing, oh, really? bombing at an a NHL game. Wow. And the Zamboni goes out, and they like made him go do a thing for Bud Light or something. Ah, uh, and but just eating it. Crazy thing, a guy so that funny, funny he still you know had his. He's, he's still like a. He is like a cartoon character, funny. Oh yeah, yeah. like the way he yes. manipulates his face and the way. He, yeah, look at that. Like look that. at this. Exactly. This like, he's Mullen. like cartoon level funny. Man, the one no. man on the moon is that the special? Yeah. The Holy improv. shit! It's one funny. of the best specials. All man. improv? No, at the improv. Oh, 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 oh. but. He did the mullet for Theo. Suck it, <laughs> yeah, Theodore. That's right. He had the mullet. He had the mullet, Theo. That's the early Theo 90s, Regan. baby. Man, like, are they going to look back on our outfits like that? Yes. Yes. I mean, that's that hilarious. outfit, I, it, Brian Regan, I love you. I cannot defend this outfit. Well, wearing was... a cowboy hat and a knit hat <laughs> indoors. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but this is a podcast, not a special here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm wearing it. it for a gag. You guys uh... okay the knit hat. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's a toque. It's good. A toque. Damn, that guy rules. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's, he bought that cream suit. Like, man, this will never go out. Yo, you, got, you guys got to have this guy on your podcast. Well, that's how we're going to look at bomber jackets. Yes. Seinfeld called that. Bomber jackets are going to be like, like, what were they thinking? And what they're called they bomber. It's all bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, who gives a shit? You got to try to be as timeless as But the as shit possible. comes back. That's the thing. Shit, that's it, true. It does come back. You know yeah. what era they're in right now? Because it's like they went with the 70s, 80s, 90s. They all come back really fast. Future. They're doing Jetsons now. You see people. That's a fashion. Huh? She had doing futuristic. Oh, really? Futuristic was in between the 80s and 90s. They did futuristic for a little bit. That's now back. Uh, well, we, we got Elroy around. here. Elroy. We got what? <laughs> the <laughs> Elroy. Elroy. <laughs> Elroy. Elroy. Deep, deep cut, bro. El wow, I forgot about Elroy. <laughs> How's the bus? You like it? I love it. That's cool. I'm Would gonna do one do in the it? winter. I'm gonna do one next winter. I love the bus. I mean, it, the tour bus. It's me, Gary Veter, James, who films, and our tour manager Brian. And it's like a great hang. It's a, it's we we're literally pounding natural wine and whiskey on the bus. Wow. Watching something about Mary. Yeah. Pissed drunk. Like I'm like this is good living. And then I just pass out in that little bunk. And I'm like this is. This is good living. You, I love a living. Have your Irish travel. goodbye on your own tour bus? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom and like, where's Sam been? It's nah. like, oh, he's asleep. We, we literally go to sleep laughing every night. That's the best thing about being yeah, with people that nice. get your vibe. We're cracking up all night and then it's and you just, wake up in Tucson. We wake up in the next city and the only bad thing is bring your fucking allergy meds. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Wow. That was legendary. Holy moly. I don't care how elitist you are. A fart is always funny. That was gold. That was the witching hour. And that was a good That was a good sound on your fart. Great sound. Like we talk about farts in this pod like it's Woo. R&B. How do you get that sound? Mm, you hear the bass? Yeah. Yeah. Like Barry Gordy. <laughs> Kid, that's going to be a hit. Your kids are going to love it. All we, right. uh, no, but it's it's the best, dude. I love it. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? I've done the bus opening, but uh, yeah. I'm not. I don't know if I want to do the bus. But I talked to James Webb and Vita. Like we can't wait to get back we on. We had bus. so much fun. I, we, I make sure everyone's having fun at all. I got. It I'm, would be cool to do it that way. Bring your girl, maybe, or like, or hey. just, or just like a bunch of comics and just like have a. The way we do the ski trip, or the Burt stuff, it's like. Let's have some fun with comics. Let's yes. be out gone with comics. We gotta hit, we gotta do a steak night or something. Yeah, for sure. We gotta do a steak right night. After maybe, maybe that's the uh, <laughs> maybe that's the bodega cat night. Who knows? This summer, dude, is gonna be the summer of us. Yeah. Let's bring back summer of spritz. Summer of spritz. Fuck Michelle Wolf. She ain't gonna be here. It's us. Let's get her back. Summer of Michelle spritz. Wolf. Oh, Michelle, you're invited. What are you doing, Wolf? Michelle of spritz. No, too. she's living her best life in Spain right now. Let her enjoy oh, herself. Oh, she's in Spain. Nah, take two weeks off and come do summer of spritz with Norman, Morel, and Shafir. She knows she's bored. You want a Bud you're Light? On I think what she's happy. Doing? She messaged me she the other day. Him. She seems very happy. All right. Is she doing stand up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But she's doing stand up where she's like, there's a lot of stage time here. And I'm like, is there? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And there's the part of me I was like, I know you're happy, but is there, are there really good expat is shows? Is the Madrid yeah. scene really good? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, no, we See. miss her. We're just saying that because we miss her. And, and yeah. dude, I love drinking with Michelle back in the day. Like, Michelle all time, oh. all time booze. She was Tuesday. A, she would a, go hard. Aperol spritzes, too. She turned us on to those. Yeah. It was Michelle Wolf and Liz at the Comedy Cellar would be pounding those, and then that made me and Ari pound those. Made yeah. it, pound. I, it would get to the point where I'd get drunk, and then I'd be like, I would get a spritz, and I'd be like, go up to the bar, I'm like, have I done something wrong that you would ignore an orange slice in this? <laughs> if we have a problem, let's talk about this. And Michelle's funny, but after six or seven, she goes into like Pennsylvania hairdresser, like you're gonna die alone. Like, yeah. You get red state and a drunk, yes. and you get and you get deep Michelle drunk. You yeah. get Hershey Michelle. Hershey yeah. squirts. <laughs> yeah, she goes in. Hershey, no kisses. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll tell you, she's no tough, hope. that Wisho Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Big drinker really seems to care. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got she would do four sets, drinking the whole time, and by the end of the night, uh-oh, this kid just uh, oh. found a new dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what love is. <laughs> the paternity test just came in, Salakus. You are not the father. <laughs> Woo. I'll tell you. I can't believe your wife okayed this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking too much. The other day, the doctor found an olive in my urine sample. I'll tell you, I'm a drinker. <laughs> Is that a real joke? That's a yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was like, damn, that's good, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're drunk. <laughs> you should write for him. When you pee in your pants. <laughs> I brought that joke up. Uh, uh, I've been drinking. Real, I'm sorry. That's just a real drunk. Yeah, that's, when you piss. Would a tell shit. would do that? He'd go, what are you drinking? Oh, Jaeger, you're going to shit yourself. I he had a way to get a zing for everybody. For every drink oh, possible. My yeah. A brilliant way to end a show. I know. What a closer. Oh, man. I tell I had that bit about, uh, you know, you're drunk when you shit your pants and uh, and your pants aren't down or something. It was something <laughs> like, just because you are just cause you uh, are drunk doesn't mean you're wearing a kilt. It was something like that. Oh, yeah. It was such a weird, great line. What's your favorite <laughs> animal? Dog? I like a horse because you can fuck it, then get a ride home. Classic. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. His That's joke. classic. That's a great joke. Everywhere I turn, I get a drink. Have you had him on here? Yeah, once for about wow. 45 minutes. And he zinged yeah. the shit out of us. He showed up and was cranky. And it was hilarious. He's just looking around. He just stood up and starts looking around. And we go, what's going on? He goes, I'm just looking for some punchlines. Oh, my God. Yeah, because wow. we, weren't, we weren't getting anything out it's of it. It's like, all right. C- come in and join in my set. Like, oh. well, the heck? And then you say something like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the subtext. Oh, you're not funny at all. Yeah. yeah. But like, then, do right, I set dude. you up? Do I not? You don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, he's He is the... And, okay. and what point do you like, Dave? <laughs> you're like, all oh, right, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I know, I know. You're yelling at me. <laughs> but that's the the beauty of it, man. Like, those old those old school comics are such curmudgeons. And that, and that's part of what's so funny about curmudgeons. it. Curmudgeons. Chris Rock called me a curmudgeon. Ah. <laughs> like, you're a curmudgeon. I'm like, I like that. But Quinn, as we saw, Dave I saw Quinn's Quinn, show last night. Quinn's show is great. It's great. Which one is he doing now? Small Talk. It's at the Lucille Lortel Theater. Oh, Colin Quinn. Yeah. Phenomenal. Do you see fun. it yet? Yeah, I saw it twice. I heard he's Irish. <laughs> and from Brooklyn. Oh. 
Yeah, but a killer show, funny stuff. I mean, there was a couple things where you're like, ooh, it's like poignant, where you're like, oh, shit, I never thought of it that way. I've quoted so many times, I think Red State, Blue State, where he's like, in the old days, you used to get into talk with somebody about something, and it wasn't the end of things. You'd be like, whoa, oh, oh yeah, gun control. I, I bet you're I bet you're in favor of gun control. And you know, As a matter of fact, I am. Ah, let's get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Well, that's the beauty of his social commentary. It's not polarizing. It really is. Yes. Like, it's it's like he, I'm observing this from yeah. both of you. He had an abortion joke, and I was like, well, how's he going to get out of this one? And it killed. It was such a neutral line, but it was so Same funny. Same with his gun stuff. He, he finds a way to really... Like an old school entertainer, bring everyone. Yes, in, and know. that's that's the skill of an old school. My favorite joke. I don't want to give too much away, Carl. But I think my favorite joke in the whole special was he's like the president used to be like, "Ask not what we can do for you, but what you can do for your country." And he's yeah. like, "Now the president has to come out and go, we see you, we love you, we notice you. Oh can you God. imagine being in China and they go, hey, the government noticed you? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, he's uh, no rules. he's the best." Dude, really I, I asked yeah. him about like I was like looking at like uh, venues for my special for Jew on YouTube right now. Um, Five and a half mil pales in comparison to out to lunch. And I got this. I got this. Um, I was like, hey, have you ever? What, what's your the one he played? I was like, have you ever done a special? That immediately calls me. Like, forget the text. Like, hey, yeah, what are you planning? Why? Okay, oh, I, I'm not sure this will be the place for you. Maybe try something else. How about I this? love that. How about Brooklyn. He's How about the coolest. This? Yeah. Cares about stand up. When I got to New York, it's new here. Uh, Norman and Liss wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> um, True. Anti-Semitic. And I was just new here. And I was at the cellar, not even the back table, but nearby. And he he walked in and it's Colin Quinn from SNL and like whatever else. Tough crowd. He walked in, stopped, and he goes, Oh, hey, you're Ari Shafir, right? I heard you're new here. You're a good comic. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the scene. I hope you feel good here. Let me know if you need wow. anything. Wow. I, I was like, that was wow. so welcoming. Jeez, he told me. He thought you were a Jaime motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he did a similar thing to me when I was new at the cellar. Really? really? Yeah. He like he just sat down at the table. I was there. I was brand new there. I was a kid. And he was like, he sat down next to me. He goes, hey, Sam. No, uh, like, didn't even introduce. Just like, I was like hey, Sam. I like, you looked at the lineup. Whatever. Yeah. And I was like, and I've spoken to other comics, and you do pay that forward. I've heard. I do? Yes. Oh, good. Ronnie I Chang tried. said that. He was like, I was Who? just in Ronnie Chang. Oh, really? He said that about you. He was like, oh, okay. I was in town. It was my first week here. Sam made me feel really comfortable out of nowhere. There Dude, you I have go. so many stories of people like, hey, are you working the cover booth at the comedy store? I came in as a new comic, and I was like, Oh boy! This could go one of two ways. <laughs> <Yeah>. You <laughs> raped me, <laughs> and it really does. Sometimes, like you were such a cunt. Other times, like you were so welcoming. And I'm like, so every time people bring it up, I'm like, I don't know how this is yeah, gonna go. It's gonna go either way. I, I've only seen you be nice to, to young comics. Comics, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Not nice basketball to young players who die. No, but comics. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I killed him. <laughs> These are incredible cocktails. All though. great drinks. I, I mean, this is a fucking Ooh. blood. This I'm is like gonna, I'm going to have alcohol. a breakthrough today in therapy. <laughs> Very good, sir. You killed it. You, you really killed it. Yeah. We should wrap this up. We've been here for hours. Yeah. Clancy. Cameron, you were Cameron. So I was born Cameron. in 1843. My name. Is <laughs> <laughs> you look like Clancy. Yes. <laughs> Got a nickname. Yeah. All right. Wasn't that a Simpsons character? Was there a Clancy? Clancy yeah, the, the, the police, police chief. friend. Police no. chief Clancy. Clancy Wiggums. Was it Clancy? I believe so. Oh, Clancy I love Wiggums. Wiggums. I never even know that. He was my favorite that. character. Yep. Simpsons was my oh, favorite. Do we have Hank Azaria really? coming on? Almost. No way. <laughs> so cool that you guys are this big now. I was talking to the a- AYG guys today where it's like people just reach out to you now to be yeah. like, oh, let's get you on. It took a while, but, but we got there. Good podcast. Really seems to care. <laughs> we got there. All right. Well, Ari, uh, go see Ari at the Beacon March 24th. Woo! Surprise guests. We're having a great time. It's my fucking hometown show. I'm going to fucking blow it out. Most of the floor seats are gone. Get up fucking in the top. But look at that. We got Ari's got Seattle, Vancouver, San Jose, Salt Lake City. And then the whole European tour. Zurich, Glasgow, London, Manchester, Amsterdam, Stockholm, Berlin, Berlin, I know what your opener is going to be. Oh my! This is, I, I'm can't not, I can't pronounce the rest of them. So, <laughs> just go to his website, Athens. 
What is that? Going to visit the town my dad got driven away from by the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Ooh, Content. Yeah. They'll give you money. All Good, right, what you do win. I got? Uh, Atlantic City, Huntington, New York, uh, Royal Oak, Michigan added there. Minneapolis we added. Madison, uh, Milwaukee, New Haven, Boston. Wait, where are you March 5th? Uh, I don't know. Milwaukee, okay. Why? What's going on? Ski weekend. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, uh, Miami, we're adding there. Orlando, we're adding uh, some Ponte Vidre, some some fucking horseshit town in Florida uh, near Jacksonville. We're adding there. Atlanta, Charleston, some fucking Norfolk. Charlottesville. Charlottesville. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Norfolk, Virginia, D.C., we added. Wilkesbury. I said Wilkes Bar last week. You guys fucking gave me shit. I apologize. I made a mistake. Get over it. Mm. Port Chester, New York, samuel.com slash. Come out to Wilkes Bar. Yeah, hey, mm. who cares about my date? Just come on March 17th and 18th to Chicago at the Vic. Tickets on the website. Uh, we added a Friday show, so let's uh, let's get that one sold out. And then I'm all over the road. That's Rod special, Chester, man. Right now. Laugh it up. Spe- new special, Mark right. Norman. Be awesome. Netflix special, rocking. Oh, Proud yeah. of you. Excited. We're what cooking. YouTube? And we'll find a guy for the uh, ski trip. Maybe Jeremy Renner. Jeremy All Renner. Right. You can fucking shoot some Who's people? got a great plow you should borrow? Yes. Uh, anyway, we got... <laughs> Mr. Uh, plow. Jay Leno will drive you there. And uh, <laughs> got your Leno a burning man. I really want Leno on here. Oh, I got to get Leno. I got his number. I feel like I could... Before he kills himself. Before. Yeah, I could text... Yeah, text him. Love Leno. If you're uh, in New York, watch Ari Shafir Jew on YouTube. It's crushing it. Yeah. Half of Ho- the, the hilarious half. Ari Shafir. Happy to have you. Yeah, Thank you so much, Cameron. You, you were great. You. Great, job, great bartender. You got is this done? That's those three, or you got more? Is there more? One more. Not, Not today, today, but, but like you interview more for a maybe we'll, time. and we we'll might even get one or two more just in the, Beard in you the gone. meantime. Beard you down. Beard okay. you out, guys. I love you. Love you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you. Comedy. Sunday's the day for my next fender. A bit of fever wreck. You know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a cop's coming. And naked Samuel is feeling dangerous. I'm out to lunch here in New